Let's just hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Where is it? Let's hear it. Um. Ah, wait, that sounds fine. Cool. Ah, wait, that sounds fine. Cool. So we only have to wait a bit until I turn into a machine vent or something. So we only have to wait a bit until I turn into a machine vent or something. Alright, alright, Steve, I don't want to hear it multiple times. Shut your, shut your freaking mouth, mate. You freaking fool, you fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, Montana Stories 2 came out. What the fuck? I might stream that instead. Um. Hello everyone, it's me again, Steed here. Sorry I was super slow when it comes to replying to you guys. I was trying to shush Steed. I was trying to make sure my audio wasn't a machine again. Um, so you're finally awake. <laughs> Doing my research, so you're finally awake. And Virgil Son of Sparta was actually the first person in the chat after I started the stream. Before that, I do believe it was King Souls, but I, I'm too lazy to scroll up and check. Uh, Necro says, I'm on time. You're on time, but I'm actually streaming late as fuck. I was actually gonna start the stream like... Three hours ago? I'll be honest, there were issues, but I guess I was just feeling a bit lazy. No, I ate food as well, sorry, my bad. And then when I eat, I, I like to sit down for a while and let it all burn out of my system. Um, Yo, DKP is hit in costume. Oh yeah, Demon King Piccolo is actually a hit. Now, the reason I picked it is because I did actually want to continue talking about my, uh, about why I think hit, ha not should be the final boss of Dragon Ball, but why he has final boss abilities in Dragon Ball. So, uh... I will wait a bit longer, but actually, let's see the roster now. People are still going to be coming into the stream. Let's see the roster right now. Let's see it. Now Come the on. World Give us that roster. Give me the roster. First live stream I've caught in a good bit, bro. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Well. Welcome, Crazy Crossing. Oh. <laughs> my world martial arts well. competition is uh, my face to went begin. no Breath of the Wild. Look, I, I always want to do Breath of the Wild, right? But fighting. next it's going to be Monster Hunter Stories because I'm just that type of guy. And then Breath of the Wild. Um, I don't know who Lord Slug is. Okay, none of these, by the way, I should say this. None of these characters as they show up in the icon are actually going to be the character when we start the thing. Because, well, some of them might actually still be their characters, but most of them won't. I know Super Saiyan 4 Goku is still Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But a lot of them are different. So you'll see, for example, I'm going to fight Lord Slug and it's going to say something like, Fucking like Dragon Ball Super Broly or some stupid shit. So, um. Yeah, let's just get this underway. And once. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? It's Dragon Ball Super Broly. It's Dragon Ball Super Broly. Will the stream Hakai again? We'll hear it. We'll hear it if it does. So, let's just wait. Um. I didn't. I didn't plan that, by the way. He was just Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, yo, Steed, streaming, hey, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good chance for me to, like, go on a monologue about why I think Hit is, like, the strongest Dragon Ball character. So, but without ado, here we go! Um, I, I will, by the way, I'm already making you. a video on this. It's just now taking forever to make because I want to make it from of good, too. Hello, crazy person, got a $5 super chat and says, also, Chadris Supreme. Wait, the Elgato, I just realized how high the game volume is, Jesus. All right, hey, 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 chill, chill, it's me, sir. I mean, hit, chill. Hey, oh crap, that was loud. I thank you so much for the five dollar donation for Super Chat, Lamar Crazy Person. And Chad, Chadris might be Chadris isn't in this mod. I almost forgot about that. Ooh, look at that, look at that, Toki Tobash. Steed, what up? Not much. What's up with you? How about that? I don't know. Crap, some damage. Holy hell. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, let's start. What, what's his first power? His first power is time skip, right? I don't I don't know how they intend to show it the first time. Because it, it, by the way, in the same episodes where they show it, they inconsistently keep showing it as different things. So I, I can't really help you or be consistent when I'm talking about it. Oh shit, this is that move. Kicks up in the air. Boom. Rip. Um, in the same episode where they first show off time skip, it's a bit inconsistent because, uh, it being called time skip would make you think that it's what Diavolo does, because Diavolo, I don't, erasing time is such a fucking retarded term for his ability. Um, but it's really just, he's just skipping through time, like, as if you fast forward the fucking movie, right? Let's say, I'm watching a movie, we're, all, we're both sitting down, we're watching a movie. You're sitting next to me, and you're like, hey, I'm gonna go for a piss, could you pause the movie? And I just watch, like, the next 10 seconds of it. Let's say you can piss in 10 seconds, you're, you're, 
fucking world record runner and pisser. So you come back in 10 seconds and you're like, dude, what happened? And I just don't tell you what happened. That's Diablo's ability. You, you, didn't, you didn't get to see it. You didn't get to see it. Sorry. You don't get to see it. Omega Daddy, I just started the stream, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Thank you so much, Omega. You... I'm just going to say calm down with the donations, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm super grateful. But I feel like I don't deserve this. I feel like I haven't done enough to deserve all this support. Not yet. Not yet. I should say that. So, but I will say, Omega Daddy, again. Thank you so much for the 500 pounds. For Streamlabs or Super Chat. No, Streamlabs or PayPal, not Super Chat. And he says, Yo, Steed, what do you think of Goku, Black, Super Saiyan, Rose, Free? I'll, I'll, I'll get to that when I'm done with it. Jesus, Omega Daddy, wow. Um, Omega Daddy's Champress level, for real? Yeah, he's the true chat so far. I am, I'm way too... Yeah, no, this will be on the second channel. That, thank you so much for the reminder. Who said that? The Nameless Demigod? Is that what the name? Yeah, thank you so much for the reminder. I should actually link the second channel. Um, I have the link right here, actually. And I just didn't do it. Uh, it was the last thing I saved. So my bad. My bad, my bad. I just forgot to add it when... Uh, yeah, um, I'm super grateful for Omega Daddy. But I, I do want to really stress this, guys. As, as much as, like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. I create content. I feel like I, I need to do a bit more before I, before I earn... So, so much respect from you guys. You guys are way too cool for me. I should say that. You guys are way too cool for me. Um, but I am still super grateful regardless. So thank you so much, guys. Um, and thank you so much, Omega Daddy. For the, I'm not gonna swear. For the freaking insane support, uh, in every stream you showed up in, I'll I'll get on with what I think about Super Saiyan Rose. I will start off by saying I like it. I know a lot of people hate it for some reason, but I think it makes sense uh, with how Goku Black's uh power works. But I'll I'll, I'll I'll get into that. I'll get into that. So um, there's the link to the second channel. We're just gonna pin that because that's ideal. Damn it! What was I going with this? Hey, see, remember the new Nintendo Switch? Oh, God, don't remind me about that. Don't remind me about that, bro. All right, don't remind me about that. Um, but yes, I do remember. It's basically a nothing console. Um, yeah, so, time skip. Uh, it's kind of used interchangeably in the first episode of Shonen when he's fighting Vegeta. It sometimes makes him go forward in time, but Vegeta misses what happens because Vegeta clearly acknowledges being in different places than where he actually was before the time skip happens. But then when Vegeta's doing the Big Bang attack, you know how he like jumps back away from one of Hit's attacks and he's like, let's see what you could do at this range because Vegeta just thinks it's speed hack. Um, he does the Big Bang attack and his position does not change and Hit makes it up to him and hits him before he fires the Big Bang attack. So that means Vegeta either charges a Big Bang attack so slow you can run up to him and hit him, even though Vegeta thinks you shouldn't have the speed to be able to do that. And I wouldn't blame, I, you know, it probably does work like that. They hate Vegeta. Um, or, oh, I should see Hit's ultimate actually. Is that it? Is that the power up for it? I don't even know what I just did. Stop firing blasts. Stop firing blasts! Oh my god. I have no idea what my man is doing. Um so yeah, that time it's a time it's a time stop because you know Vegeta he doesn't he doesn't react to anything and nothing actually changes. Our hit is just hitting him. Hey Kako what? Kako what? Like, <laughs> I'm like playing a game and trying to talk about how OP he is at the same time. I'm so sorry, guys. I should I should be better at this. Oh, I can go behind you. Um, but Steed, where's Cumbrola? Don't worry, he'll show up soon. My time skip is unbeatable. Um, let's. Ooh. This comes. I swear to God, this is instant. This comes to you like a. It missed what? Oh, that's poo poo. Uh, okay, I'll have to show in the next fight. Nope. 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 Um. Hit time skip can skip time, but can also stop time altogether and also move back in time, and then he can also exist out of time and it can create its own time rift. Seriously, what is it? <laughs> Exactly. What is here? Oh, well, actually, we might see the ultimate. We might see the ultimate. Are we ready? That was... He punches you in the dick. That must hurt. But that was kind of boring. His the super looks cooler than that. 
Is it supposed to be time skip Molotov? I think, I think it's supposed to be time skip Molotov. But they didn't really. They should have added a cool pose at the end. Surely they could have like done that. Um, either way, yeah. So he has time skip, um, like Diavolo, and he also has time stop like Dio. It's only for 0.1 seconds when he's fighting Vegeta. Fair enough, whatever. But in the Dragon Ball time, 0.1 seconds is basically enough time to beat anyone. Because in 0.1 seconds, a beam went through Goku's entire body and lowered him to a point where a guy he just beat can just start torturing him out of nowhere. So, 0.1 seconds is a lot of time. Hit can cross the whole tournament and hit you for critical damage in 0.1 seconds. So, yeah. It was supposed to be Molotov. Yeah, all right. I could, I could tell. Um, I could barely tell. That's what I should say. Um, let me see. Okay, okay. Where was I going with this? Um, what else does he do? We'll he also has the ability to just power up whenever he feels like it. I guess he can only do it if he's actually faced with a situation that encourages him to power up. I don't know if it can always power up and he's just lazy and doesn't want to. Or if it's, um, no, 0 0.5 is against Goku, if I recall. I believe 0 0.5 was against Goku. Because he increases the time skip to 0 0.2 seconds. And then Goku is like, Oh, I'll just get used to it. And then Hit's like, oh, you're missing the point. And then he uses a 0 0.5 second one right there. He like, he never actually uses a 0 0.2 second time skip. No, he uses it once, my bad. He uses it once. And then Goku's like, oh, I'll just have to wait for him to use it again so I can get used to it. And Hit's like, too late, it's already 0 0.5. And he just starts beating the crap out of Goku. Um, So Hit's supposed to just power up whenever he's faced with a, with a new enemy or a new threat. Something that can get him to like a higher level. I keep improving. I will continue to improve. And, you know, crap like that. So he basically has infinite power. Uh, not infinite power, only his time skip seems to increase, but if it gets longer, that's a bad sign because he can do a lot of damage uh, with barely any time in time skip. So it's a time stop and it skips time. And he can also increase the duration of it whenever he feels like it. He just needs to care. He also has a random key move or time skip move he used during the Kaioken Kamehameha because he used time skip on Kaioken Blue Goku. Right? Goku punches him, knocks him back. Ah! And then he jumps forward and skips time. And he's about to hit Goku when Goku starts moving in a time skip and hits him. And then Goku's like, Yeah, now I'm beyond your time skip. Yeah, my Kaioken is past your time skip. Then he does the big combo in the Kamehameha. And hits like blocking the blast. And no one knows what the fuck happened in that beam. So every form of media has to animate it differently. Dragon Ball Legends makes it so that Goku does like a punch. Uh, fucking Dragon Ball Fighters makes it so that Goku does like... A dragon fist inside of a Kamehameha. No one knows what the fuck is going on inside that Kamehameha. No one knows what the fuck happened in that scene. You you don't know what happened in that scene. So that scene happens, right? And then in the next episode, it's like, actually, what happened is you shot a Kamehameha, jumped inside it, charged me, and then I stopped the time again in the frozen time. And you're like, oh, now the time skip can, sur can surpass Kaioken. So if you have resistance to time stop, it doesn't even matter. It, you don't have resistance to time stop against it. You just don't, right? Um, you don't you don't have resistance time stop ever. Um, I don't remember what happens after that point because it's just a bunch of filler fighting until Goku quits. So whatever, you he can stop time. The duration can increase whenever he wants. He can also erase time. That duration can increase wherever he wants. He can also go through time stop resistance. So if you're Dio and you're like ho ho. I can stop time for exactly five uh, seconds. I can stop time for Jubio Keka or whatever it is, right? Whatever the number is. Let's say Dio, Dio stops time for longer than Hit does. He actually does. That's proven. Hit does it for one second. Dio does it for five seconds. Longer if you count the other versions. But we'll just use five seconds because that's the main one, right? Dio stops time for five seconds. Hit uses his time skip. Dio can't move in the time stop anymore. He can't. He can move in his own time stop. He can move in Jotaro's time stop. He can't move in hits one because hits one gives takes away your resistances to, to time stop. So you can stop time. You just can't move when time is frozen. Fuck you. It's, hits, it's only hits turn now. That's how good hits time stop has become. Cool. Epic. All right. Awesome. Swaggy, in fact. Well, you know what we call that? We call that baller. Epic, indeed. So what else does hit do? Next time we see hit, it's walking around hand in pocket in some random location. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to just phase through a fucking fence. And you're like, oh, shit. Okay. So Hit can also be intangible. I thought his ability was time, not space. Is it time or is it space? Dragon Ball Super. Oh, look. He stops time and walks through a, a, a corridor full of gods. Okay, so it is time. 
Why did he face through the gate then? Couldn't he have stopped time, jumped over the gate and entered the area? Am I... Am I dumb or do... Okay, maybe I am dumb, right? But even as a stupid person, this does not make any fucking sense. Straight up. So he now, now he has the ability to be intangible. Now he's fucking uh, Obito, right? Just, oh, I just face through shit. Can't touch shit. He's got the... Well, apparently, Super Go No, Super Gogeta is Gogeta. That beers. makes sense. That makes sense. I, 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 yeah, it's fine. He's the fairness of Dragon Ball. It's because he has key control. Goku has key control and he's not intangible. So I'm, I'm not buying that. Goku has, had the, Goku has the best key control. Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue. You can't tell me my man doesn't have key control on lock. Both time and space are intertwined, so he has both. If that's the case, they should have made hits ability gravity manipulation. They should have just made it gravity manipulation, so he can manipulate both, if he really does that. But if K had gravity manipulation, he would just, like, force your shit into the ground, and you just wouldn't be able to move. Then he could just walk up to you, give... Oh, yeah, I haven't even reached that point yet. So, not only can hit be intangible and stop time and skip time and have time resistance hacks and all this other bullshit, he can... What the fuck? Alright, um... He can now choose who time is stopped for. Because when he walks in the elevator and the guards are like, Ooh, we're gonna surround the elevator. And time fucking stops, right? The guy he came, he came to assassinate is moving in the frozen time. And it's like, yes, I made it so that way we can communicate. And yada, yada, yada. And the guy's like, oh, well, at least I died to the legendary assassin here or whatever. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, right? And they're doing that bullshit. And he can have a... By the way, his time stop only lasts like oh, a second. And he can have a full conversation here. So maybe the time stop is actually way fucking longer now. Since the last arc. And we just don't get told how long it is now. So maybe it actually lasts so long you can have a full JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure like argument with someone else in the time stop, right? Maybe it's that long now. But if it's that long in Dragon Ball time, that's an instant win no matter who he's fighting. That's it's just an instant win. Apparently, he had a super armor too. Nice. See, would you want a Budokai Tenkaichi free HD game for the Switch? I would love it, but you know they would just do some weird shit with it and screw it over. Ooh, Ooh baby. Ah, nice. Wait, what am I doing? Ooh. Wait, hold on. Uh, just hold this. There we go. Um, isn't it him just saving up time to use later? I'll, I'll get that part. I'll get that part. He literally stacks time on top of time. Time stop on top of time. He does. All right. So now he can. He now he can make it so that time lasts so long. He can have a full chimwag with you, right? You're having a, a full a full party of here. You hit, drink it up, pour it up, pour it up. Watch it fall out, right? You and here are just having a party in there. Then he randomly decides, you know what? Actually, I have a move that goes through all layers of your fucking skin and your feet and goes straight into your fucking heart. Um, and you're like, oh cool. I guess that's also part of your space manipulation ability that you just never fucking had before. Like, all right, fair enough, right? Hits not allowed to use his killing moves in the Universe Six tournament. Why did he not go intangible once against Goku? He would have bodied his asshole if he did. He would have never lost. He would have just waited for the Kaioken to give him a heart attack. And then what? He doesn't have honor. He's a fucking assassin. He does what he needs to win. He does what he needs to win. There's no pride. I'm an assassin, not a warrior. The outcome is as Steve, send me money so I can donate it back to you. All right, Galaxy. Um, he said F you and uh, I have time and space. Yeah. So he punches through the guy. It goes through his clothes and straight in under his skin through everything into his heart. The guy just dies instantly. Then he undoes time and all the guards are like, Dan Chu. I don't know what the fuck the, the slang is, right? The, the Japanese, the term. But he just kills the dude fully and walks off and is like, cool, it's all right, it's fine. Then he fights Goku and Goku's like, Ah, yeah, there you are here. You can come out now. And it's like, actually behind you, you fucking idiot. And Goku's like, whoa! And then you're like, oh, so now he has the ability to astrally project his presence and key in a different location than he actually is. He didn't even use that during the... He didn't even use that during the Universe 6 tournament either, by the way. So... Hit now has the ability, right, to stop time, skip time. You can't resist his time skip. He can make the time skip longer. It doesn't matter what what ha needs to happen. He can just make it longer. He can uh, he can manipulate space to a certain degree by making his uh, him himself intangible 
and his attacks go through all layers of your fucking body until it reaches the appropriate area. Right? Epic, swaggy, cool, baller, awesome, epic, just bombastic, telefantastic. Now he can also astrally project his location somewhere else. So even if you're a fucking god, you could be granola. You could be fucking granola, and this man could catch you off guard. Granola could be like, uh, there's a legendary assassin, I've been waiting, and then he just gets a, a random heart shot comes from the back. Through his like, through his like spine, through th through the back, and it, it only stops when it reaches his heart. Right, it goes through his skin, his bone, his muscle, everything, and stops when it reaches his heart. And he's looking at what he thought was hit. That was just an astral projection. That wasn't even hit. My man was two kilometers that way, throwing heart punches at you that went the whole way through space and just hit you at the back and kills you. He just goes the whole way through and just does that to you, and it's like cool. What are you supposed to do about that? You can't... You are trusting your instincts, right? Your instincts told you there's a guy right there. No, he's actually over there. He's also there. He's also there, 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 and there. He's everywhere. As you see in the forest scene later when Goku's trying to sense him, he's everywhere. And Goku just somehow figures out where he is. I don't remember how Goku does that. So... No, Granola... I think Granola is bullshit enough to actually dodge... Because uh, um, Granola fucked up UI Goku. So I think Granola is bullshit enough to actually be able to get around here. I think he is that fucked up. Um, during beat hit, that means during time skip is unbe- I wanna get to that, I wanna get to that. They- Dragon Ball Super's writing is so bad that they made during beat hit. A guy he had no business beating whatsoever. Um, so yeah. He's actually behind Goku and Goku's like, oh, you didn't attack me? And hit was like, uh, yeah, I, I didn't attack you because of my assassin's pride. And what he actually meant to say was, you're so light work, I don't need to- I don't need to try my hardest to use cheap tactics to beat you. I can just do it straight up in front of you. I can just- I can tell you, over hero, and you turn around. And I can just kill you. And you can't do anything about it. And then Goku's like, yeah, I'm going to fight you. And this time, I'm, I've already surpassed your time skip. And Hit's like, oh, you think this is time skip, huh? Huh? You think this is time skip? I'll end this in one blow. And Goku's like, no, you can't. You literally don't do that much damage. And his attack goes the whole way through Goku's fucking body. Through his god key. His super same blue god key. Straight into his heart. Oh! Oh! oh. And he bullshits a fucking resuscitation key blast up in the air, right? And Hit's like, Son Goku, GG, Nori, and he just heads out. He just heads out. And then they think Goku's dead, Goku revives himself, and he's like, I'm gonna go fight here. Apparently that hot shot did no fucking damage to me. It killed me in one hit, but it didn't actually lower my HP at all. Because my man is back in full fucking, like, he's doing his, like, Ryu idol animation. He's like, okay. Nigga, all right, let me tell you a secret, right? If you punched me through all of my skin, let's say you're intangible, right? And you punch me in my... By the way, do you know a scratch on your heart could kill you? So let's say you punch me in my heart. And I go, ah! And I flatline. And I get up like five minutes later. And I stand up from the fucking operating table. And I'm just... And I'm just like, hey. Hey, let's, let's go to McDonald's. Let's go. Let's go. And I start running there. You'd be like, what the fuck? Didn't you take any damage from when I just... You died. How did you not take any damage? Your heart should at least be struggling to like regulate your blood flow, right? Right? Why are you just okay? So, whatever, right? I guess Goku has more... Goku has some fat plot armor, right? He has some obese plot armor. So he goes into the forest. Hit, uh, Hit literally can have one second of time stop and solo verse without trying. Yeah, he could easily. It's so dumb. So, um... Goku goes to the forest and Hit is like, ah, I can actually make lots of astral projections of myself. And he puts them all over the place. He puts them everywhere. And Goku's like, oh shit, well actually, I know you're there. And he like, fires a kiwi, I don't know, they fight on some cliffside after some bullshit action, right? And Hit's like, actually, my ability to hit you on your heart is so fucking dumb. I'm just gonna do this. Goku's right here, Goku's right in front of him. And Hit just goes, bang, 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 bang. And they all come from different directions. Nigga, how do you beat that? How, how do you beat that? 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 He never has to fight you. He could just do that the whole match. Let's say Hit was like a Black Clover villain, right? You know how they just spam their most OP move all the fucking time? Fucking uh, Patry, Lich, uh, the fucking guy who has word magic, Dante. If Hit was like any of those guys, right? He, he would just, he would, 
You're over here, right? He's just going boom, 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 boom. You can only block so many before you eventually get hit on the heart and you just die and you can't do anything about it. He could just keep doing that. I know people are going to say, well, Steve, it takes stamina from here. If it takes stamina, why was he still fighting Goku for that long if it takes stamina? Exactly. There's no excuse, right? So my man just bullshits strikes into different directions. And they come out of other directions where you are. And Go Goku somehow bullshits his way into guarding all of them, right? Then Goku's like, okay, I'm going to fight you now, Hit. Then Hit's like, ah, fuck you, I'm, I'm intangible. Uh, it's passing through me. Oh, they hit. Oh, can't, can't feel it, Goku. Can't feel it. In all fairness, Hit can't hit you when he's intangible. In all fairness, at least he's not that fucking stupid. If he was like Obito level brainless, I would have been mad. But he's like, no, he, it's, it's not that stupid. It's not that broken. Didn't you in like break time? Yeah, it was some stupid bullshit like that. He is just using lag. <laughs> he can only lose through bad writing. No, he really only could. He really only could. I think Hit could only lose through bad writing. Talks like these are why I subscribe. Well, I'm, I'm so glad you... Oh, Super is actually Super Boo? That's the one character who's been the actual character for them. Because I'm Demon King Piccolo, apparently. I'm Demon King Piccolo, apparently. But Brainless Hit versus Alpha Game <laughs> Gamer 17. Goku won that matchup because he's a protagonist, yeah. So, at least Hit has to come out of the intangibility to hit you. And I think Goku does, does strike his cheek a bit, right? Goku did hit him, like, a little bit when he came out of it to try and hit Goku. Or some, some weird shit like that. And then, oh shit, the big reveal. Here it comes. Here comes the big reveal. Champa's like, Ayo, Vados, Ayo, bitch! How does the time skip work? Is it because he's... By the way, here's a really stupid thing, right? I should, I should, I should, get, I should get into this now. So the ability is called time... The ability is called time skip. And Vados asks, Do you want to you want, you want know why it's called time skip? And Champa's like, Oh, it's because he stops time, right? It's called skip. Why did you think he stops it? What? Okay. I get Champa's supposed to be stupid, but like, clearly, majority of the verse thinks he's stopping time. But the ability is called time skip. Why is it not just called time stop? I don't know. And then Vados is like, actually, Hit collects a bunch of time, and then he uh, uses it later. And that's how he's able to, he creates a parallel world with his time. And it's just a long, convoluted, dog shit explanation, right? The explanation is so bad. And you know Toei is very famous when it comes to doing shit like this. Toei, you know they fucking hate their fans. They just fucking do, right? They have Champa say, Oh, I didn't even understand any of it, but that sounds so cool. And you you as an audience member is like, yeah, I didn't that didn't make sense. Right? That didn't make sense. And you could go, oh, were they insulting the audience when they did that? It's debatable, right? It's debatable. Because in my opinion, that does, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Would that the way Vadus explained it, that makes no sense. If you collect time, it when does he collect the time? Because realistically, he should be collecting the time off screen all the time, right? So his time stop can last like two days and you can't beat him. If he, if he could collect time whenever he wanted to, he could be collecting time off screen. And he, could, and he could be like, I didn't get any jobs for like the last two days. So I just have two days of time skip. Let's fucking go. Stops time for like 48 hours. And just fucking, he beats the shit out of you. And then writes, uh, it draws a penis on your face in permanent marker. And then he could stop the time stop wherever. And he could be like, oh, okay. I still have 47 hours of time skip left. Because I only needed, I just wasted an hour of the time just beating you up. That's cool. So there's no way he collects time. Because that, that makes no sense. That would make him God. That basically makes him God. If he was just collecting time and he could use it whenever he wanted to. That's stupid. So Vados' explanation makes no sense. And to, I should say this. Dragon Ball Super has Zeno be a direct representation of what they think the audience is. Zeno is an idiot. That gets overhyped over every minor form of action that happens. Every moment they have Zeno, you know he's a stand-in for the audience. That's what they think of their fans. It's just so obvious. They have so many characters. Kaioken Goku, right? Oh, it's cool. We think Kaioken Goku's cool, right? We think he's cool. But who do they need who do they need to hype up Kaioken? They need Beerus to do it. Keep in mind that people still argue that Beerus is not stronger than Goku. Renato Derosas donated $3 through Streamlabs or PayPal, and he said, Time stop sounds whack, bro. It does sound whack as fuck. Um, so they need Beerus, the guy who's way fucking stronger than Goku, to hype up Goku going, Yo, Kaioken! He was going to use that on me? Because us as the audience are thinking, Oh shit, Goku's going to use Kaioken Blue against Beerus. He even said, I was saving this for Beerus. 
So they have Beerus say, well, who's going to use that against me? Because they always have some characters act like a giant fool as I stand in for the audience. Because you know they hate their fucking fans. They hate us. They're like, man, just consume product, you fucking dick. Just eat the product, you retard. They don't care. So they have Champa go, oh, that was so cool. Oh, I didn't even understand it, but that was so cool. Yeah, you didn't understand it because it didn't make fucking sense. So, um, that, that, that's the short rant about Vados. Vados' retarded explanation about time skip, right? Now, here's the most fucked up part, right? He actually has a dimension of stop time. Vados wasn't really, like, kind of wrong about that. She wasn't really wrong about that. He really just does have a dimension of frozen time. Somehow, my nigga Son Goku with his infinite plot armor. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to shoot a Kamehameha at you. And it's just going to destroy your time stop dimension. And you're like, oh. What? So Goku's Kamehameha can, uh. Well, I know, I know. I know niggas are going to be like, oh, Steve, you don't know what you're talking about. You know what power scaling is, right? But hear me out, hear me out. Let's say I don't understand power scaling or anything. But you understand power scaling. You explain to me what happened. When Goku shot that Kamehameha at hit, and hit was going like this, and his and his dimension was breaking, was Goku's Kamehameha stronger than time just now? Because you, I, you need to explain. It hit stores up time, and they explained it in the same episode. Did Goku's Kamehameha just destroy time? Does Goku's Kamehameha surpass time? You have a dimension of time around you, where time, it just does whatever you want it to do. And Goku's Kamehameha just destroyed it. Let's say I don't understand what power scaling is or anything. Is Goku's Kamehameha stronger than time? Or is the writing so fucking bad that Goku needed a reason to beat Hit, who literally could not be touched and could kill you in one hit? And they just wrote that bullshit into existence. So, he could also move inside the time exact. Yeah, he could also move inside the time dimension. Um, so yeah, he paused the game again. No, I'm sorry. The Dragon Ball Super, two words, key control. All right, all right. I get really mad when people bring up key control as an argument. Because when I bring up key control, it's in defense of why characters don't just destroy the universe every single time. Or why they don't destroy planets every single time. Right? That's when I use it. And people somehow don't understand that. But key control now becomes an excuse for why hit time skip can do space abilities, which has nothing to do with time. It only has to do with time if you relate gravity to it. And hit's ability is not gravity. Alright? It's not fucking gravity manipulation. It's time manipulation. So why the fuck he can manipulate space is beyond me. Um, key control somehow allows Hit to dis to create dimensions of time, but also allows Goku to destroy dimensions of time with a Kamehameha. Now, Goku cannot destroy dimensions of time as a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken punching at you, but he can do it with, 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 with Kamehameha. Only the Kamehameha, not the punch, but only the Kamehameha, right? It's not a big deal when Goku does it, but when Jiren does it, oh, he transcends time. He transcends time. D Goku transcends time. He just destroyed the time dimension with the blast. Did you not see it? It happened. It happened. You can't use key control as an argument. That's just bad writing. That's just bad writing. You don't you don't defend that. You don't defend you just accept that's bad writing and move on. That's not that's not key control. That's straight up not key control. You can't convince anyone. Hit doesn't use key control like at all. Yeah, Hit does not use key moves like belly. The one time we see his aura is when he powers up and then he's like, cool, back to only time manipulation. My man barely relies on key. He literally almost does not use fucking key. He only uses key to like increase the strength of his punches. Like that's it. Hit time skip is broken. He can teleport to another universe, basically, yeah. After the newest manga chapter, I'm kind of done with super. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right. So, um, Hit, hit is, uh, Hit's got all of the- Let's go through Hit's powers again, actually. So, Hit can erase time, which is like, you know, Diablo's move where he can skip through time, so you don't know what happened in between. He can stop time, which is the Dio version where you stop time, no one knows what happens, you just punch them, everything's going on fine. They're still in the last place they were when you did it. Everything's Gucci. He can extend the duration of the time stop as much as he fucking feels like it, whenever he fucking feels like it. Um, and there's no limit to it. You also, if you have resistance to time stop, fuck you, you actually don't have resistance to time stop because now he's developed it so that you don't have resistance to time stop. It's very swaglicious if you ask me. That's my new time ability, space manipulation. I just, I just do the cell grab where I grab you, lift you up and I just start going like that. That cell, that's Hit's new ability. He can just do that now because he can manipulate space too. What's stopping Hit from just grabbing you? Lifting you up into the air and just doing the fucking command grab. Slapping your bitch ass to the corner. 
and then doing whatever the fuck he wants from there. So, whatever. Uh, Hit has all these abilities. What, I, I'm not even done with his abilities, actually. Stop time. Skip time. Extend the duration of his... Both of those abilities. You don't have resistance to either one of the abilities. He can do it inside of it. Somehow. He can become intangible and face through objects. He can also make his attacks face through objects. With ETC, your clothes... Your skin, your flesh, your muscle, your bone, and straight to wherever he needs it to be. Like your heart. It's literally Granola's ability, except it takes no effort. Um, he could also choose which direction he wants those attacks to go into. Figure it out. Fuck you. Figure it out. He could choose which direction he wants it to go into. Imagine, right? He punches in front of you, and you're like, oh shit. And you like block your front, and it actually comes from your back and goes through your spine and into your heart from your back. Because he could choose which direction it comes out of. So fuck you. You don't know where it's coming from. Just deal with it. Um, he also has a dimension of frozen time. And apparently he could store time too. I don't know. Figure out. Vado said it, not me. The, the, she said it, not me. She knows what she's talking about, right? She's an angel. So he's got all of those powers. My, 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 my man's got powers on powers. Powers on powers on powers. Cool. Tournament power starts. Hits coming in there. Ah, taking guys out. Ah, Kale's about to get knocked out. Nope. Get back here. Get back here. I can do anything I want in space and time. No one can touch shit. In fact, you know what? My abilities are so elite. I'm going to go in for a sneak attack on Juren while he's finishing a guy off. I know you'll be too distracted, sir. Boom! Blocked. Blocked immediately. What are you doing here, assassin? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just on the job right now. How the fuck did Juren react to a dude who can literally astrally project his key somewhere else? Fucking stop time. And use attacks that you can't see that can go through you. Why didn't Hit do that attack from long range? And second of all, how did Jiren even react to that? Let's assume that while Hit was finishing, while Jiren was finishing off Goku, Hit actually projected his key somewhere to like the back right of Jiren, right? So Jiren would like, as he's finishing off Goku, his eyes are like kind of concentrated there, like, who the fuck is over there? So he's like kind of looking in the wrong direction. He's like, who's there? And then Hit comes in through the front and Hit and Jiren just blocks it. How would he still be able to react to that? Because he could stop time while his key is actually projected back there. So you look back there, time freezes. He comes up to you and hits you. You can't, you can't do anything about that. You just lose. You just lost right there. You lost. It's like one of those FGC fighting game videos. Did you block it? And you're, wa you're watching it. You're watching the mix up. And you're like, you get to that point where like the guy does the fancy shit where he jumps in the air, goes back to the ground, jumps back in the air, crosses up, reverses his cross up, does an anti-air. Not an anti -air, a fucking uh, air heavy or some bullshit. And you're like, damn. That would have caught me slipping. You're watching that video and you're like, damn, I wouldn't have been able to block that. That's literally that, except you can never block it. You literally could not block that, ever. I don't know how the fuck Jiren did that. Jiren is Yujiro in disguise? He has to be Yujiro levels of bullshit. Oh, Cell is actually one of the Universe 6 in the mechanics. I'm not sure if you guys knew that, but there you go. Um, so... Jiren just blocks that, right? Then Jiren and Hit get into a giant fight. Apparently, when Hit's using his time skip, whether he's erasing time or stopping it, Jiren can move inside that. They animate Jiren as if he's moving inside of it, so there's no excuse. There's no other way to interpret it. They animate Jiren moving in the time skip, and he's just bodying Hit's ass. I guess Hit forgets to use his intangibility again. I don't remember that fight too well. I might need to rewatch it. But Hit just forgot he had intangibility, or Jiren completely ignores it. The whole fight, because that's all that happens. Um, so, Broly can't even go Super Saiyan properly? Yeah, he actually can't go Super Saiyan properly. Um, oh, let's go. Um, Hit is wasted in Dragon Ball, Hit solos Kid Buu. I think Hit could actually, Kid Buu with his infinite region would still lose to him. Jiren is so bullshit, even time of bends to him, yeah, basically. So, Jiren, oh, even J Jiren shuts at the time, yo, how fucking sick epic is that, bro? So, um, he gets knocked through a bunch of debris, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna use my super epic move, the heart punch that goes through everything, and it goes through debris. You can see it go through debris. Somehow it doesn't go through Jiren's hand when Jiren puts his hand in the way. It doesn't do that. Right? It doesn't go through Jiren's hand when Jiren blocks it. And then Hit shows up behind Jiren. Oh, shit. And he catches Jiren off guard and hits Jiren in the heart. So, here's what... I'm sorry that I paused the game again, right? But let's, let's be real. Hit just caught Jiren off guard. So how the fuck he wasn't able to do it last time is beyond me. He did it this time, but not last time. Right? Cool. 
He caught Jiren off guard and he hit him with a heart punch in the heart. So, okay, Jiren should be like in a critical condition. He should be like, oh shit, oh, I'm having a heart attack. I should be able to knock this guy off. No, instead he just gets knocked back a little bit. He gets knocked back a little bit. All right, cool. Anyways, hit now reveals his true ultimate ability. The Cage of Time. Oh shit, what does it do? It, it's just it's just time stop, except you're, you're sentient while it's going on, I guess. Because Jiren was clearly like moving and shit, while, and everyone could see what was going on. So it's just, it's just time stop, except everyone can see what is going on. It's just time stop, but everyone can see what is going on. You're the only person who's frozen, I guess. That's the cage of time. It's, it's kind of lackluster. It's really only useful if you're fighting someone who's Jiren level. And even then, they ruined the opportunity of it. Like, bro. Jiren's in that cage of time. Kaba, Khalifla, Kale, Goku, the two Namekians from Universe 6, Gohan, and uh, uh, Piccolo, who team up on them. All of those niggas are seeing that happen, right? I'm sorry to pause the game again. They all see that happening. Hitch standing there like, yo, if one of you want to shoot the ground beneath Jiren off, so he falls down and we don't have to deal with that bitch ass nigga anymore, right? If one of you can knock Jiren out, so the rest of us can have a fair and clean tournament without dealing with that OP ass nigga, that would be Gucci. And Kappa's like, hey, yo, I think Hit told us to go run away and deal with some other shit and he can handle this on his own. And Hit's like, no, nigga, Kappa, 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 no, Kappa, oh, oh, fuck, uh. Uh, oh, Son Goku, you're watching. Thank you, Goku. Come and help me. And Goku's still watching. He's like... Son Goku, I can see you. Could you please help? Help me. Nigga, help me. And Goku's like... The two, the two Namekians from his own universe. He's like, oh shit, you guys are on my team. Right, get this right. I got Jiren right there. And the catch and catch one is actually really fucking easy to break. Everyone's been breaking it the whole fucking tournament. It's really easy to break. So just break it, just shoot key blasts beneath his feet right now. He'll just lose, please. I'm begging you. And they're like, hit with all due respect. Goku went ultra instinct one fucking time and he's out of energy. So we should prioritize a guy who could be at any time now that he's out of energy instead of Jiren. And they just fucking attack Goku. And Piccolo and Gohan, they help Goku, right? Ah, uh, okay. Now that you guys are done helping Son Goku, you can come and help me with Jiren, right? Right? You can come and help me with Jiren. Now, we're busy fighting two for the Namekians. They're only important until after Kefla loses. Or some shit. They literally only, they literally only show up again after Kefla loses. So, I don't, know, I don't know why they've been fighting them for that fucking long. So. Oh, well, at least Jiren can't move because he's frozen in time. At least, at least he can't move. Starts fucking walking. My nigga starts walking in frozen time. Oh, shit. I should probably just quickly finish him off before he starts doing anything, right? Tries to finish him off. In frozen time, I'm gonna look at you and I'm gonna grab your attack and I'm gonna break it and somehow that attack is connected to the attack you used against me previously. So I'm now free. And I'm just gonna look at you some more and you're just gonna get the shit beaten out of you while I look at you. And you're just gonna get knocked back. Kaba's fighting some fucking power engine in the background. And when he sees hit come, when he, man, I fucking hate Kaba. When Kaba sees hit's bitch ass flying through the wall, right? No, pardon hit, not his, not hit's bitch ass, right? When Kappa sees Hit flying through the wall, Kappa's bitch ass is like, yo, Hit lost? Whoa, Hit lost? Holy shit, if only for someone who's supporting Hit. You, you should have been helping him. Fighting a Power Ranger in the background, some fodder villain that Vegeta lets beat the shit out of him while he's trying to get fake Ultra Instinct. No, Kappa's watching it like, Hito-san, what do you mean Hit-san? You were right, but you should, why didn't you help him? You should have just helped him, what, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you help him, right? I don't, I'm sure there's a Dragon Ball Super Defender. Some Dragon Ball Super Defender is going to manifest in the chat right now and be like, but Steed, actually, what truly... No, shush, just leave. I'm not even going to time you out or ban you, just leave. Don't even, don't even start it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Kaba, Khalifla, Kale, they're all watching. They're watching here. Just get the fuck beaten out of him. And they're like, hit last. But in hit honor, oh we will carry on. Nigga, you can't beat... You can't beat Jiren. Kaba, if Jiren was sleeping naked, you wouldn't be able to beat him. There's, you just can't beat him. You can't beat him. If you took 10 years to train, you were punching, catching, catching for 10 years fucking straight. And then you caught Jiren sleeping ass naked. 
caught in the middle of the snow. You wouldn't be able to kill him while he's asleep. You wouldn't be able to do shit. So why are you standing here going, oh, we'll carry on his will? You just lost. Universe 6 just lost. You just lost. Don't... Jenna should have been like, all right, bye, and just press the buttons for all of them. Because none of those niggas were doing shit after that. None of them were doing shit after that. Did Universe 6 knock out any other person after Hit, got, after hit lost? Kevin knocked out one fat bitch. That's it, one fat bitch. I think Khalifa and KO might have knocked out some fodder guys, but who cares? Who cares? So, oh yeah, by the way, Hit gets, Hit's getting up, and Juren's in front of him judging up a power blast. Hit does not go intangible where it would matter the most. He just says, fuck that. He's like, fuck that. My team's not even helping me. I, I don't even give a shit. I'm just going to take it. I want to go. Literally, when Hit gets knocked out, when he shows up in the stands, my man is arms crossed, eyes down. He's like, I don't care. Just fucking, just do what you need to, Zeno. I, I don't give a shit. My team doesn't want to help me. Man, I busted my ass off being the ultimate assassin with the perfect genetics to have time stop and all these other hacks abilities. I'm literally a Mary Sue character. I'm just fighting niggas with plot armor. I would be a Mary Sue if I was a protagonist in any other fucking verse. Put me in Naruto, I body. Put me in Soda Online, I body. Put me in Bleach, I body. Even if you power scaled me to have the same power as those characters, my abilities are so broken, I would beat them, right? I would body them, but my team is so ass that when I meet Jiren, he doesn't even have any superpower. He just has so much fucking King Kong strength. He could just look at me and I lose. Nah, Zeno, I'm good, man. Just take me out. I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't blame him for acting like that. My man goes, my man, that was some, that was some shit. In between gamers here, by the way, I should say that. In between gamers, I like to see all the Z fighters just jump the next villain. It would solve the problem right away. It, it really would. <laughs> it really would. Um, he leaves the tournament like LeBron. <laughs> He's that one online player who carries the team. <laughs> Man's literally carries his fucking team. He really did. Just wanted to get on the bench. Jiren's, <laughs> Larry not donated $5. Said Jiren's sleeping bare naked in the snow. This is why I subscribe to Steed. <laughs> It's a worthwhile subscription. You're missing out on Jiren sleeping ass naked in the snow. Oh, I was supposed to finish that combination. What? I went too late. I went. Hit's gonna be training Frost for the next tournament, bro. Oh my god. Hey, yo, where the fuck did Jiren get the ability to attack with his eyes? They don't explain it. No one ever explains it, so you get fucked. Um, I think that's actually the end of Hit's abilities. But either way, you can see what I mean. If Jiren wasn't like writing plot armor, Bennett. Jiren has all sorts of plot armor, all sorts of writing. Like, bro, okay. Here's how I imagine a fight with Jiren and Hit would go, right? Let's say Jiren is so strong that the ability to automatically dodge attacks and be as, nearly as strong as him doesn't do anything for you. Cool. Fair enough. He's just got so much ape strength. When Hit starts that fight, as he's finishing off Goku, right? Ah, I'm finishing off Son Goku. Yeah. Manifest my key over here. Jiren's like, the fuck? He like looks to that corner. The fuck? Stop time. Boom. Heart punch. Hits him in the heart. Tokiwa Igoku des. Time resumes. Jiren gets hit in his heart. Ah! And then Goku falls off of his key blast because he's no longer concentrating. Goku falls to the side. The smoke clears. Everyone's like, yo, it's hit. Fan favorite hit. Yo, he got hit, hit. Got a clean hit on Jiren. UI Goku couldn't manage that, but hit could. My boy hit. Now the audience is hyped to see what happens in the next episode. Jiren, he takes the heart punch, but he's not a bitch. He doesn't go down. He doesn't kill him. He just goes, ugh. Son of a bitch. What ability was that? How did you get me, man? How did you, how did you do that? And Hit's like, an assassin never reveals his tricks of the trade. And Jiren's like, really, assassin? Cracks his fucking knuckles. Cracks his thick ass fucking sh great white shark neck. And he's like, you're going to show me more of those techniques, right? Right? Not going to let you get away with just... Hitting me dead on in my chest like as if I'm some bitch. Then the next episode, you can, even if Hit gets fucking bodied, right? You could go, at least he used his abilities. At least he did something cool. They just had him be a bitch the whole fight. For no reason. If you can have Jiren be that monkey strong, at least give Hit the sneak attack he deserves. Come on. Just, no. They, man, they just hate. Why? Why? No, they just, they just fucking hate Hit. Um, so, I, I, I have nothing really else to say about Hit. The rest of the tournament is just bad. I don't want to talk about the rest of the tournament. No, I will talk about how Universe 6 just did not help my man one more time. They really sat there. Sat there and watched my man just die. They just watched him just die to Jiren, bro. Oh my god. Not one of them was like, Kamu wasn't like, Khalifa, Kale! And then they all used their big, generic, yellow key blasts. 
and they shoot the ground beneath Jiren and it breaks and Jiren loses, right? They don't even do that. They're like, nah, we're good. In all fairness, Hit literally told them, go bother with other fights, but that doesn't make any sense. That literally makes no sense. Why would you do that? You already know you couldn't stop him. You saw him moving. And you, d you just say, Kaba, shoot the ground beneath him and then you can go fight someone else. How long does it take to shoot a key blast in Dragon Ball? Literally, characters will just like, like DBZ Broly, right? My man can turn around in the middle of a dialogue and throw a key blast. So you know Kaba could just go throw and then run somewhere else. He doesn't even have to look. So there's no excuse. There's literally no excuse as to why they couldn't just quickly or shot a key blast and help their man out. They just didn't care. The writing did every... By the way, I did, the original conversation was how fucking overpowered Hit was, by the way. And now it's turned into how tournament power sucks. But literally, I created a scenario where Hit is so OP, he catches Jiren off guard. He's finishing off Goku. He looks over there. Time stops. Heart punch. Can't do much about that. Jiren is so... Let's just say Jiren is so strong, it doesn't kill him like a Goku, right? You're not allowed to kill people. Hit, Hit just does like a love, a love tap to his fucking heart. Just... Just quickly to his chest i can't kill you so we're just gonna have to do it like this and cool we already showed goku already showed you can at least block the heart punches cool nice a fight can happen but realistically hit just kills jiren gets disqualified and goes i don't give a fuck that's the only guy that mattered in the whole tournament i don't care disqualify me i don't care i'm just gonna kill him i don't care disqualify me do, do your worst i don't care it's so easy for Hit to win any situation. Man, hit him with a heart punch, then do the fucking quarter circle move where he shows up behind you and kicks you. And it does a knock up. My man is suffering from, from, from conniptions or some shit, man. Just, just start bodying his ass when he's suffering from a heart attack. And win. Now you didn't even kill him. Now you just won legit. There's no, there's no reason why he... Why am I fighting Annie Raza? <laughs> why am I fighting... Why is Annie Raza Hercule? Hit him with time skip Molotov. I forgot where his oh time lag is manga unique, so I don't really I don't really ever talk about that. Um, it's also kind of shit. It just makes people move slower. That's it. It's kind of like Gojo's Infinity, except way worse. Um, that's what I should say. Like Hit needs to actively turn it on, and then even then, like hit, Jiren could just blow through it, so it doesn't even matter. What if he has multiple or no hearts? Damn, that's a that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. I would I wouldn't even front. That was a good question. That was actually a good question. If Toei had just said either of those two things, you'd go, oh shit, that now it makes sense why he didn't do it. But it seems like his heart is in the same place as everyone else's because uh, that was the only hit that worked on him the whole fight. So don't forget the hit clone rant. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about the hit clone rant because that's more of a community thing. They'll be it. They never said that hit. Oh my god. Oh, it's instant. Um, the, hit, the, the community was the one who thought Hit had the ability to make clones of himself, so Jiren has no heart, bro. <laughs> Boy, I, Jiren has no heart. Hey, cut that shit off. Cut that shit off. Cut that bullshit off. Out, chief. Um, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, nice try. No, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice. No, we don't do that. Oh, I'm getting bloody. Wait, can I? Can, I think it has an infinite combo. I just need to. I just need to get lucky and turn it on. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can do it. No, I, 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 hold on. Wait, wait. I think. I think. I, I think he legit, legit has an infinite in this game. I just need to see it. Okay. That should give me like electric melee now or some shit. Like stunning melee. Let's see. Oh, it's not infinite. Okay, he doesn't. Have, he doesn't have infinite combos. This is stunning hits. Okay. Oh, this is Janemba's move. Okay. Janemba's move looks so dumb on every character. Like, oh my god. That that hurt, bro. That actually hurt. Okay. That actually really hurt. Um. Custom Videl video went probably never. I don't really like it. But you got English dub. Yeah. I mean, it's as English dub as it can be because. For some reason, oh, that works on Annie Raza. Cool. At least, at least I know. At least now I know. Wow, he barely takes any damage. He can have, uh, he can leave duplicates of his key when moving around. I don't know what that means. That did most fucking damage ever. I think I'm gonna lose this. Um. 
Talk about, oh yeah, I still need to talk about Super Sentry Rose. Oh cool, he just ignored my attack match. How could, yeah, he can leave duplicates of his key and move him around. But yeah, I don't know how anyone beats that dude. It makes him way harder to track in a fight too. When characters are doing that shit, like, you know Dragon Ball Super Broly where they're warping around and they keep fucking, like, disappearing and shit? And it's like, okay, how would you track someone doing that? You sense key. That just makes sense. But, like, Hit has immunity to that. If you get into a high-speed fight with Hit, you can't do shit. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my fucking god. I literally can't. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, I faced through the map. Get me out of here. Thank fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad they got me out of here. Galaxy, I'm just dead because you broke my heart. No, I'm sorry, Galaxy. I didn't mean it. Alright. Uh, I'll actually answer that question. About Super Saiyan 3 Rose. I should say this. And I don't think people like really understand it. But Super Saiyan Rose isn't Goku Black's Super Saiyan Blue. It's just his regular Super Saiyan. I know because people read the manga and for some reason think the manga is canon still. I don't know how. But because people read the manga, they think, oh, because he has Super Saiyan in that one, Super Saiyan Rose is his god form. But in reality, in the anime, the anime is the canon version, by the way. I don't know why I need to keep saying this. Um, the anime is the canon version. Super Saiyan Rose is his, uh, is his Super Saiyan in that version. That's him unlocking Super Saiyan. It makes sense why it was so easy for... Look, don't get me wrong. Dragon Ball Super has shitty power progression. It would make sense that anyone would just believe, oh, he just unlocks the God Form, free of charge, just like that. He didn't even do the Super Saiyan ritual to get Super Saiyan Gods first. He just has the God Form. Fuck you. He just, he just does, right? It just makes sense that people just believed he just has instant access to a God Form and didn't do any work for it. But he did. It's just Super Saiyan. That's why it's so easy for him to unlock. Because it's just Super Saiyan. Um, yeah. I think it's stated somewhere that it's just, it's just a super thing, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that yet until I can show you guys the evidence, so. I guess I'm going to have to make a video on that donation as well, because fair enough. Mega Daddy does be hitting with big donors. I need to show my appreciation where I do. I need to give back where I can, because in my opinion, I don't do that much for you guys. And by the way, I think I can just spam this until I win, so I'm just going to do that, because any loss is really fucking hard. Power cliffing in Dragon Ball Super Explosives. It's just a cliff, man. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. Can't he just ignore the God Form requirements since he has God's souls? I think he could do that, I think he could do that. But at the same time, Super Saiyan Rosa is his uh, regular Super Saiyan form. Um, I don't think there's much anime evidence to prove him correct. But it is stated somewhere that it is a Super Saiyan form, I know that. I'll, I'll have to find out for you guys when I make that video. But it is a Super Saiyan form. I know the sources right now are just trust me, dude, just trust me, right? But I, if I recall, it is a Super Saiyan form, which is why they are bold enough to give him Super Saiyan Rose 2 and 3, almost months between each other. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the real reason why. Uh, what was I going to say about, uh, Steed spamming for Victory Exposed? You, you have me, you have me, has. I hate the code vein DLC bosses, they spam more, they, oh, the good DLC bosses are fucking dumb. They are really stupid, they actually spam like crazy. So... Did your mic die today? Not- Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. I swear to god, shush, 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 shush. If the mic jinxes, I will remember who you are and I will time you out for exactly five seconds. For just bringing that up. Now the manga is canon. Toriyama directly gave the reins to Toyotaro. He also gave the reins to the animators, so I don't know... I don't know what that means. You can't give the reins to- Are they both canon? That doesn't make sense, so... Um... Let me- You know what, let me open that fucking page so I can just- So I can just prove it to you. So I can just prove it to you without a shadow of a doubt. There are no shadows and there are no doubts. I'll just prove it to you, right? Where is it? Let me find it. Let me find it. Um, Dragon Ball Super Toriyama outline. Pink and no eyebrows look so dumb to me. It's comical. It does look a bit stupid, but I am an avid believer of it's Dragon Ball Heroes. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's not canon, so I don't really care. Um, all right, let me let me let me read some of these out for you. Some of these Toriyama outlines. So, the Dragon Ball Super outline is a draft of key characters and details for Dragon Ball Super, created by the original author Akira Toriyama. The draft is taken and expanded upon by Toei Animation and Toyotaro for their respective media. On occasion, Toei has chose to not incorporate things from the outline into the anime or change elements of it. Toyotaro is also known to have left out at least one detail from Toriyama. So they also don't actually care what he has to say because he's fucking delusional. He's like 60. I don't know. Right? He's an old man. Who, who, who can really trust him? 
So in Battle of Gods, uh, Toriyama suggested that the Battle of Gods movie be adapted into an anime format. You hear that? Guys, you, I hope you heard that. Toriyama, it was Toriyama's decision to make us re-watch. This is get, did, did opening Google Chrome make the PC that much slower? Oh, it's these fucking ads. It's these fucking ads all over the screen. Go away. Um, Toriyama's decision to make us re-watch Battle of Gods and the Revival of Epoch. Toriyama suggested that the Battle of Gods movie be adapted into a saga for the Dragon Ball Super anime. And he suggested that the Resurrection F movie be adapted into a saga for the Dragon Ball Super anime. Toriyama said, anime, do your work. May let's go through fucking... Nigga, oh my... Cool. Cool. I like it. I like that. I like that Toriyama did that for us. We needed that. I'm so glad that Toriyama did that. That's what we wanted. We wanted to watch those arcs again. Oh, I wasn't good. I wasn't happy when I watched it in a movie when the animation was good. I wanted to see it when it's bad and when the story's worse and there's even more bullshit. Okay. So in the Universe 6 saga, Toriyama designed Champa, Vados, and five members of Universe 6 and Monaka. That's all. Toriyama said, do whatever the fuck you want of that arc, right? I'm just going to make these characters. You do whatever the fuck you want. So Toriyama made Champa to look like Beerus' brother. That, that we know for a fact. Beerus was, no matter how you see it, Beerus is supposed to have a brother because he designed that. Beerus' brother also has an assistant and is also a god of destruction. He also designed five members of Team Universe 6 and Monaka. Now, it's not stated who is the most important. He just designed five of them. Kaba is so clearly designed after a Saiyan. So fair enough, Kaba's a Saiyan. He probably, I don't know if he said Kaba's a Saiyan, but Kaba's so clearly designed after a Saiyan. You could say Hit is just supposed to be a random character, but the anime gave Hit clout. I'm gonna say the anime gave Hit clout, and Tor Toriyotaro just copied that shit. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna get to that part because Toriyotaro did actually only add Vegito because he was in the anime, and it was like, oh shit, if I don't add Vegito in the manga, no one's gonna give a shit about the manga because he doesn't have Vegito, and the anime already did it, so now I have to put Vegito in. Um. So yeah. Um. Let me see. Future Trunks Saga. Toriyama designed Goku Black with the design noting that he could transform into a Super Saiyan. And the Saiyan of slightly different color, which also he provided the design, the ref design for. So he could turn into a Super Saiyan or a Saiyan of slightly different color, whatever. He could do either of the two. In the, in the anime, I guess we just got Super Saiyan Rose. Or he just said, fuck, my Super Saiyan's pink, suck dick. Um, and in the anime, he gets, and in the manga, he gets both. In the manga, he gets both. So, yeah. Uh, let me see, let me see. Ba 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 ba. Toriyama designed Zamasu. Cool, I don't give a shit. The setting between Trunks' alternate timeline and Zamasu's fall to the dark side, the lack of knowing Goku Black's identity early on in the saga. So no matter what, they can't know who Goku Black is at the start of the arc. They can't they can't be smart. They're not allowed to use their brain. The Among Us saga, oh shit. Canon is whatever isn't the Goku Black arc because cancer, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Fuse Zamasu, yeah, okay. Here's here's why I, st I stated this in the last video in Vegito versus um Gogeta. But Fuse Zamasu is actually supposed to be, I'm going to say, weak enough. Fuse Zamasu is supposed to be weak enough for two Super Saiyan Blues to hold his ass until he detransforms. So Fuse Zamasu is not supposed to have an infinite transformation. In the anime, if they say, I don't give a fuck, fuck you, he, he has one. Um, they, it's just said straight up, oh, Kaioshins, we have infinite ones. You guys suck cock, fuck you. It's not stated Vegito is supposed to be in this, by the way. It's not said at all. Toriyama did not ask for Vegito to show up at all. The anime just chose to add in Vegito because they were like, fuck it. There's so many Patara earrings right now. We might as well just make a Vegito. Fuck it. We'll just do that. So they made Vegito, but then they're also like, shit, Vegito can't beat him. Because Trunks gotta do some bullshit. Trunks gotta beat Zamasu. And then Zeno has to beat Zamasu. <laughs> Toriyama illustrates. Trunks needs to do this. Zeno needs to do that. So the anime now goes, oh shit. Um... Vegito defuses because his fusion only lasts an hour. Yeah, yeah. So the way Toriyama knows it, Toriyama still thinks Vegito is infinite because we know he doesn't give a shit about Dragon Ball. He hasn't checked. Toriyama still thinks Vegito is infinite, but he's not. The anime said, fuck you. He's not, he's, he's not infinite. Screw you. You don't know shit. The manga also said, fuck it. That's the only way to introduce Vegito and then take him out in the same, in the same arc so Trunks can get his fucking half-cutting bullshit off. Right? That's the only way. Uh, I might not talk about Donut Man. I might go back to Donut Man. Who knows? Super's full of retcons. They retcon my nuts. I like how humans have smoke bombs that are so thick a literal god can't see or sense through them. Yeah. Bro, what is that? What are they using as the smoke? Is it nitrogen? Man, who the fuck knows? Um, 
Toriyama drew part of the future. Yeah, yeah, he drew those fucking illustrations. I don't get. I don't care. I don't care. He drew those illustrations just to be like. So basically, Trunks needs to beat Zamasu just so Zamasu can clone himself, and then Zeno can delete Zamasu. No, come on. He needs curing my boredom at work. You shouldn't be watching me while I'm at work. Don't do that. Uh, let's get another tournament started. Actually. Um. Other world. The other tournament is hard as fuck, and I love it. No, not easy mode, man. I like my shit difficult. I like my shit troublesome. All right, Universe Six tournament. They're they're not Universe Six. Universe Survival tournament. This is a chore. Okay, this is what I've always been telling people, right? I've always been telling people this, and I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna say it now. Toriyama designs for the Tournament of Power Arena. He he made the arena. That was his choice. But he also he drew illustrations for Jiren. Topo, Dispo, Ribrian, Sidra, Quatella, Corn, and a few I've got the destructions, right? You can see the illustrations he drew. Now, Toriyama did not state fucking anywhere Jiren was the main guy. It was supposed to be Topo, straight up. It was supposed to be Topo. No, it was supposed to be Topo, sorry. The animators wanted the animators wanted it to be Topo. They were like, we're going to make it Topo. We're going to make Topo the god of destruction. And Goku is going to go... Because it's stated Ultra Instinct is a thing that needs to happen as well. So Ultra Instinct Goku was supposed to fight god of destruction. The anime was going to make it all tie together. The controlled god form versus the destroyer form. It's going to clash. It's the Whis's power versus Beerus power. It's going to clash. And Toriyama was like, that sounds fucking boring. I hate that shit. I want a guy who doesn't speak. You know what? Keep that shit on Topo if you want to. That's fine. You can do that for Topo. But make Jiren the main guy. I like, I like Jiren. Make him the main guy. And I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm SMHing my fucking head. I'm SMHing shaking my head. I am... I'm dying. I'm crying. I'm missing my lover. I don't have the power on my side anymore to keep talking about Dragon Ball Super. It's just too much. This man is just on coke with his decisions. I don't... Toriyama also designed Belmont, Healy's, and shit of Toritaro. Toritaro helped with those designs. Okay, cool. I, yeah, he designed some God of Destruction. We already talked about that. Steve, the film why God Key as a concept was wasted and executed poorly. Uh, I'll, I'll get into that. We're talking about Toriyama and his nice outline. For Dragon Ball Super. So, um, Toriyama created Kao. Uh, no, Toei created. Oh, yeah. Toriyama just made Califla. And Toei was like, oh. And they made Kao for Califla. So, if you like Kao, you have to thank Toei for that. Even if you hate Toei, right? Toei made Vegito just to take his bitch ass out. If you like Kao, you have to thank Toei for that. Because Toei was like, just one female Super Saiyan? Are you kidding me? And they had to make a second one. And they made her a Broly because Toriyama didn't tell them, oh shit, guys, why don't you make a Broly movie as well? Just Tor Tor Toriyama is just fucking stupid. And here's the worst part, right? Toriyama might have told them to not make a Broly movie if they didn't make KO. And I genuinely think we would not have a Dragon Ball Super. It'd be some other bullshit. Because if Kale didn't come back up, no one would care about the legendary Super Saiyan anymore. People would be like, I don't fucking, that's a DBZ villain, that's an old guy, no one likes him. All he says is, Kakarot, Kakarot, oh my power is rising. No one cares about Broly, man. If they did not make Kale, Toriyama would have been like, fuck it, make Dragon Ball Super, uh, Dragon Ball Super Cheese. They fight a villain called Cheese. His name is Cheese. And he's like, Goku's brother from Planet Saiyan, or whatever it's called. And he survived the explosion as well. That's Raditz? I don't... Goku's second brother. And he survives the planet as well. And he comes down. And he's like... And he has the legendary Super Saiyan instead or something. No, he has Super Saiyan Blue. Because Toriyama's lazy. Or he has Ultra Instinct or some shit, right? You know that's what it would have been. So, yeah. Um, ba 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 Let me see. Uh, ba, 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 Toriyama, I don't care. Super Saiyan is achieved through... Oh, yeah, now Super Saiyan is achieved through concentrating energy on your back, causing a tingly feeling. Toriyama's notes say... It's not the anime. Toriyama straight up said, You know what? Super Saiyan's not a rage power-up anymore. I don't want to... I don't want I don't want to see people being angry. Now all you have to do is have a tingly feeling on your back, and boom, Super Saiyan. So, you know when you're minding your own business? Maybe you're, like, you're washing dishes, you're cooking up some nice guacamole. I don't... I just made that up. You're making like some shrimp fried rice. Did a shrimp fried this rice? You're making shrimp, shrimp fried rice, right? And your brother sneaks up behind you and he tickles your back. Ah! You, you just went, you go Super Saiyan. You go Super Saiyan. Your brother tickles your back while you're making food. Ah! It catches you off guard, you're tingly feeling. Oh! The nerves in your back go fucking ape shit. Pshoo, golden hair, aura. 50 times the power increase. Oh shit, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we we can get golden hair? How the fuck did that happen? Oh, shit. 
And then you tell that to the rest of the universe six Saiyans, and they're like, oh shit, we can go Super Saiyan. That's fucking weird. All right, cool. The government starts making an announcement. Saiyans, you are permitted to have sex with anyone you feel like. Get that tingly feeling going. Get that tingly feeling going, bro. Do whatever you need to. Pour ice cubes down your mate's back. Get that tingly feeling going, baby. We can get stronger, dude. Apparently, they've never had their fucking back tingle at all in the entire generation they've been alive. So, um, who do I blame for that? Let me let me keep reading these notes. Let me. Who do I blame for that? Okay, I think I have to blame Toei for that, because Kappa Super Saiyan is not. I guess Jorama didn't give a shit. He was like, he has a saying, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Um, tingly feeling is probably for female Saiyans. You know what? I, I think I can buy that. I think I can buy that. I think I'll buy that just on the basis that literally we are the same species, but one of us has like a sausage and like some fucking saggy bullshit down there. And the other one of us have like a hole. So, shit. We're just built different. I guess females, females ain't could have that. I'll, I'll accept that. I, I think I'll actually accept that. In reality, fuck you, you're wrong. Because Toei said so. Or Toriyama said so. Toriyama said, you can't have fun. You get bad writing. But I think I do want to accept that. Because that doesn't make sense. Genetics, all that bullshit. I feel like that makes sense. But at the same time, my nigga Kaba. Just never, my, he never got angry once. He never went Super Saiyan once out of... There was never a time... Isn't Kappa a soldier or a policeman? You never stumbled upon one situation where, like, a guy held a kid hostage and key blasted the kid's fucking brain out so he could get away while you guys were, like, all distracted? Did that... Ne did you never see that and go... And just go Super Saiyan? Did that never happen? I'm, it's a it's a dark world out there. Shit, can like, shit like that can happen. It's a dark world, man. You get fucked up cases. I remember there's a weird case of some dude that they were chasing down on like a bridge or some shit and he like took his daughter out the car and just threw her over the bridge and she just smashed into that what it's it's some grim shit it's a dark world bro even in the dragon ball verse they got freezer going around being fucking omega space hitler in universe 6 they have to have some bullshit they have to have some bullshit that makes niggas crack there's no way they don't i refuse to believe it so Man, I, I don't know, man. Universe 6 Saiyans are all a waste. Fuck them. Um, the tournament power was to be 80 people fighting. I don't care. Initially, there was no personality given for Jiren, but they added the backstory and shit to him along with a silent nature. Yeah, that's because he had to be the main character. There was no backstory for him because he was a side character, but now Jiren has to be the main villain. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, Toriyama, Toriyama, just, go, just eat bricks, man. I don't care. Topo is a God of Destruction candidate. But Jiren has to be the guy. It's gotta be Jiren, guys. I'm actually mad. I'm actually uh, angry. Uh, they're technically all got the destruction candidates. By the way, the anime did it. Turpa's just the only one who can transform into one. So, personality of a cinder block. Bro, they have Frost. Yeah, but Frost apparently got away with his bullshit for however long he's been alive. So, no one got mad. Um, do do do. Do do do. Course of events for every Universe 7 warrior, e.g. Piccolo losing to Damon and who survives at the end. Oh, so Toriyama decided... Wait, do they get knocked out in the same order in the anime and manga? I didn't read the manga, so I don't know. Do they get knocked out in the same order? <sighs> because in Toriyama's notes, it's stated that... They they don't get knocked out in the same order. Well, to be fair, this, this, this thing did say that Toyotaro and the anime... To, Toyotaro and Toei both went... Fuck no. To some of Toriyama's suggestions. Toriyama was like, you see, I made Dragon Ball, so I think we should do this. And he shows it to them, and they were like, fuck no. You fucking senile old man. We'll handle this shit. Go sit down. Go have your prune juice. So they told that man to sit down. They were like, no. Enough of your bullshit. We don't want to hear it. We don't We don't care about what you have to say. I kind of want to be God Goku. I'm not even going to front. Um, Yes. I will be son G Goku of the Wait, would people no everyone loves Goku. No one's gonna get mad that I picked him. Exactly. No one's gonna no one's gonna be mad that I picked Goku. Sit down and get your part of the money. Yes. Why don't you wait for us to make the money for you, you old fuck, and then you can just claim it. Because you wrote down some ideas. Oh my lord, man. 
I'm not even gonna front. I'm a, I'm a bit jealous about. I'm a bit jealous when it comes to being Toriyama. I wish I could sit on my ass all day, tell some niggas, look, just like, here's a design of a fucking guy. Just draw this guy right, and make him like the main villain of the arc. There you go. And then I just sit down and I just wait for the money to just flow in. Imagine, you just go, hey, there's this guy, right? Take, draw him. Draw this guy. Ooh. Did this game fucking crash? Wait, did the game crash? Did the game crash? The game crashed. All right, let's let's finish these Toriyama notes real quick. Um, the twist of Majin Buu being replaced with Frieza was Toriyama's idea. Uh, that sounds like some bullshit he would do. The battle between Universe Seven and Universe Eleven is also his idea. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember all of that. That was too long, man. That was way too long. Um, perfected Ultra Instinct as a new form of Goku that is separate from Super Saiyans. By the way, it's stated as a form. That was Tori that's what Toriyama said. I don't know why people say it's a technique. It changes your head to white. It makes you way fucking stronger. That's not a technique makes it's it's actually different from the ultra instinct is a technique but perfected ultra instinct and ultra instinct sign or straight up transformations don't argue with it it's straight up that's straight up what it is um so what else toriyama drew part of the man named Jiren. what the f i have to see that toriyama also drew parts of super warriors gather part two and he also drew parts of quirky competitors i don't know what the fuck that is Beerus calling Ribrian cute is apparently is necessary. He added that in the notes. Beerus has to call Ribrian cute. So, if you guys are wondering, Ribrian is cute by Beerus's own standards. Let's get this bullshit restarted. I don't want to make you guys look at a black screen all day. That's kind of boring. Rosie and Kakunsa having the ability to stretch their... Wait, what? They can stretch their arms? What? I don't remember that. Toriyama also drew part of Jiren vs. Universe 7. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Toriyama wrote the full version of the script for Dragon Ball Super Broly. And he added more character to him. He drew the designs for Chi Lai and Lemo. Um, buh, 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 buh. Toriyama drew some parts of the fucking Galactic Patrol arc. I don't care. Toriyama drew the draft for the Granola arc. I don't, man, I don't care. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't care. Toriyama's original draft states that Piccolo needs to lose to Damom. Is Damom of a fucking insect guy? Wait, did Toriyama actually get off his fat fucking ass, his old man balls, just to say, oh, Piccolo needs to lose to an insect? Man, oh my... Piccolo fans, Piccolo fans, where are you? You got fucked over because Toriyama said so. Toriyama said Piccolo needs to lose to a guy he has no reason to lose to. My man literally can explosive wave the insect off the stage. Wasn't Piccolo his fan favorite? Let me show you what Toriyama thinks about Piccolo. I'll make it really quick because I don't want to waste you guys' time. Renato Derosas, thank you for the free dollar, free pound donation for streamers on PayPal. And he said, uh, if Kai's aren't that supreme, just get a Halo and that's it. Why didn't Zamasu wish for uber strength like Serial Boy did and fuck off after dying? Or didn't go to the trunks pull the Super Saiyan from a tingly ass too? Um, I think, I don't remember how Goten had it. I know Goten was training with Gohan occasionally. And he was like, can I be like you now for this training session? And Gohan was like, what? And then he just does it. Because Goku, when Goku did the, uh, when he did that to Chi Chi, he was already a Super Saiyan and he probably left it on. Let's, let's be honest. You know, he left it on. Um, so we had the Super Saiyan sperm, for lack of a better word, flowing in his body already. So when he finishes... That goes into Chi Chi. So Goten already had the Super Saiyan, like, basically in his code at that point. Uh, but Trunks, you know Vegeta's a stubborn dad. Vegeta did not 
was not Super Saiyan by that point. He was very close to it, but he wasn't. But he did put Trunks through some serious training. And um, Vegeta's a bastard. You know he would train his son to be like the best. Oh, I don't want my son being worse than Kakarot's son. Fuck that. Of course he pushed Trunks. He pushed. Don't forget, the, tr the time when Trunks did go Super Saiyan was because the gravity got to a level where he couldn't handle it. Meaning it was steadily increasing. And Trunks was like, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm a strong boy, I can do it. So even if people want to say, oh, they just went Super Saiyan for no reason, I feel like it's clearly established that in the universe already, there are Super Saiyans. By the way, I'm going to say that. I'm going to go on a fucking tangent. And I don't, I don't remember all the people who said this. But when Kaolin Khalifa went Super Saiyan, and everyone was mad about it, there were, like, so many content creators just, come, just crawling out the woodworks. Like fucking ants. Like fucking rats. Like gnats. Saying... Ah, oh, Goten and Trunks, they went Super Saiyan. I'm about to fucking, I'm about to explode. So, let me explain to you why Goten and Trunks going Super Saiyan makes sense and Gleeflo and Kales doesn't. And it's not because they're women. That's fucking stupid. If you think that's the reason. I, just don't, 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 don't speak to any women in your life ever. Because I know you'll just fuck that up. But, um, if you, um, so... In their universe, is established that Super Saiyans do not exist. No one has ever been a Super Saiyan in Kaba's universe before, ever. So, Khalifa and Kale getting it from a tingly feeling, which is not the established method of it. Right? It's not the method. It's not even close to the method. If you want to say they passed to a Super Saiyan threshold, fair enough. They just never train or never do anything or never fight ever. They just passed, they just passed the threshold when they were born. Fuck you, they just did. Fair enough. Cool. They can just do that because they got a tingly feeling on their ass one day because one guy told them. That's fine. Why is it bullshit that Goten and Trunks, two niggas who train, and it's already established what Super Saiyan is in that fucking verse, by the way. Goten sees Gohan go Super Saiyan all the fucking time. Trunks sees his dad go Super Saiyan probably all the time too. Vegeta, tra they both train all the fucking time. Gohan trains with Goten in secret. Vegeta's like, Bormon taking my stupid son into the- Hey, hey, that's copyright, that's copyright. Oh my God, I just realized. I just realized the stream's getting demonetized, by the way. So you guys are... You, I really need that. Actually, you know what? Mega Daddy already get... Well, Mega Daddy already supports enough. You guys don't need to donate. You guys don't need to donate. I just I just noticed that this guy this guy was stealing the Dragon Ball imagery and just throwing it in the background. Geekdom even defended the tingly back, back feeling thing. Man. Oh. I'm not even going to go for Geekdom. I know Geekdom starts arguments with literally anyone who exists. And I don't want I don't want Geekdom's community coming over here, starting drama over here. So I'm good. Not saying I'm scared of Geekdom. I don't I don't just want bullshit in here for no reason. Because Geekdom will actually target anyone who speaks about anything he's ever spoke about, right? It was muted. I don't care. They were showing the imagery. So that's probably, that's probably going to affect it. I, I don't want to talk bad about Geekdom. I've noticed Geekdom will literally just start shit with literally anyone on Twitter. Like you go to his, uh, not to his tweets and replies. You'll go on new, new, new notification of Geekdom. And you're like, yo. And it's him like arguing with someone. And you're like, bro. So I know in my mind, if, if he knows that I was like, ah, well, I don't think Geekdom is correct. He'll just immediately frame one, frame one. Like Akuma's fucking raging demon. Just levitate towards me. Grab me. What did you say? Debate me. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Now if I say no, people are going to call me a pussy. And if I say yes, it's a waste of my time. I mean, I'll get clout out of it. So that's fine. I'll actually say yes. Because even if I'm wrong, I'll get clout out of it. Um, But yeah. No, no hate to Geekdom. He just, he's, he has a very short fuse. That's what I should say. He's got an extremely short fuse. Never said he was stupid, by the way. For someone goes, ah, oh, stupid. Someone's going to edit this to make me say that. I said he was stupid, but no. I never said he was stupid. I just think Geekdom has a very e extremely short fuse. He has like a really low tolerance for like anything. So I don't want to be a part of his bullshit. Um, but yeah, uh, Khalifa and Kale going Super Saiyan. No, in Kale's defense, in Kale's defense, I should say this. If you're a legendary Super Saiyan, you've already got some bullshit going on with you that lets you go Super Saiyan with no effort. Broly did not do fucking anything in his life. And we were like, oh, his head goes green and cool. He, he becomes giant. Cool. We don't care. Fuck it. It's fine. We, it's fine. You know what I mean? We gave that a pass. Because a legendary Super Saiyan, we already know that it's special genetics, right? Built different. Legendary Super Saiyan is entirely being built different. I can excuse... I always remember being a defender for Chaos Super Saiyan because it's legendary. But not Khalifla. That bitch Khalif... Man, what did that fucking whore even do? It's like a tingly feeling on your back. Okay.
You've never had a tingly feeling in your back ever? Ever. Okay. So you're telling me Khalifla, big rowdy, rowd, big loudmouth character she is, right? Yelling at everyone, talking about how she's the strongest. You're telling me Khalifa doesn't experiment in her free time? She has a pre-established move called Crush Cannon. That means you, Khalifa at least knows how to fight or at least to experiment with her moves. She's never once tried to channel energy through the back for any purpose and been like, oh, there it is. Let me, let me keep tapping into that. Oh, my hair's yellow. Wow. I'm way stronger too. It's crazy. And then niggas come out the woodwork saying, it's actually fair that they have Super Saiyan. Because you see, Universe 6 is way stronger. So because of that, they should have Super Saiyan. Okay, Van Frost should have Golden Form. Right? He should just have Golden Form. Please shut the fuck up. I, I, I can't defend the retarded decision behind... Like, alright... It's not the fact that they unlock it super easy. It's the fact that it's super easy to unlock and they never did it before. It's new to them. Nigga, what? No. Man. How can you defend? How can you sit there and go, wow, this is good. I'm going to make a YouTube video defending this. No. Man. Oh. No. Come on. Have more self-respect for yourself, man. If you if, if you defend Kelly Flo or KO being super sense, you, you probably just don't have much to do in your day-to-day -day life and you're just bored and you need to start arguments with people online because I can't, I don't fathom that. The universe 6 Saints are further evolved and aren't born of tails anymore. That means they should be even further away from being a super saint, not closer to it. Isn't Grey Ape and Super Saiyan all linked in the same monkey bullshit? Wasn't the original Super Saiyan a golden Grey Ape? I mean, I, I, I only remember the anime's depiction of it, right? But the way Vegeta remembers it is that the original Super Saiyan is a mindless creature because Grey Ape is a kind of uncontrollable transformation. The original Super Saiyan was so brainless, he actually destroyed himself in his own rage. He only destroyed the planet he was on with his own anger, right? Because it's all tied to the same shit. It's all tied. So if they're getting further and further away from that, why is it so fucking easy for them to go Super Saiyan? There's no excuse. There's just none. There's just none. They should have their own bullshit. Not Super Saiyan, it should be something else. But nope, we gotta recycle it because the yellow head form makes money. So here we go. This tournament is for one player and will open at a specific time. There are tournaments open now. Choose the tournament to fight it. I thought the original um, Saiyan was the Super Saiyan God. Um, I, I don't believe the Super Saiyan God would be stupid enough to destroy himself in his own anger. <laughs> Because Super Saiyan God's about calmness and controlled shit, right? He would have been, he would have had that on check, so. She even went SSJ2 about trying. Yeah, I mean, SSJ2 wasn't really an... Uh, I don't think anyone actually earns SSJ2. They all get it off screen. Gohan just gets slightly mad that a guy he never knew died and never spoke to and didn't do anything for him died. Um, Goku unlocked it in other worlds and Super Saiyan 3, but he didn't feel like revealing that till later. And Vegeta just had... Vegeta kind of goes Super Saiyan 2 like as if he had it before Barbadi mind controlled him, which is fucked up to me. Because you didn't need the margin power up at that point. You just didn't. You're just you just made the arc longer for no reason. So I don't know. I don't Steve guys don't look it up, but he's anger over DBS logic is starting to turn his hair gold to cut it. Alright. Uh, I don't want to be God Goku again because I might crash the game. Let's try something else. Let's um Hmm. If the game crashes again, actually, it might be the other world tournament, so I'll, I'll, I'll try. Oh, yeah, Bardock should have Super Saiyan, right? Man, didn't even give him Super Saiyan in the, in the fucking Heroes mod. Actually, it might be in a different slot, I just realized. It's probably in a different slot. Because these characters sometimes have shit in a different slot. Like Baba Dee's Whis. Cool. Zeno is the boar. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Can we write about Zeno? I think, I think most people know Zeno's a bad character. There's not much I have to talk about when it comes to Zeno. I don't think anyone actually wakes up and thinks, I'm going to defend Zeno today. Why is this Frieza so... Oh, that's his Frost. My man is so roided. Jesus, he's gigantic. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure Jiren will crash the game, so I'm not going to pick that. Um, King Vegeta being God Vegeta. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. 
Doria is Vegito blue. That makes sense. Obviously, it just makes sense. Um, let me see. All right, I think I do want to be Goku Black. Where are you? Yeah, there you are. Get your ass over here. Will be soon. Look at that unit. Yeah, he was buff. Zeno is actually the baby. Damn, Frost is jacked. If I was in DBS and I would rather have potential unleash transformation rather than Super Saiyan. Yeah, it, it seems way better. I missed a few donations. Shit, my bad. Oh, I did. Wow, I did. Thank you so much for. I sorry if I screamed into the mic. By the way. Um. Okay, yeah, Renato. Oh, I did miss this one. Wow, holy shit. I'm really sorry, Renato. I missed it. Renato De Rosas donated three pounds to stream labs or pay. I think it crashed again. I think it's the map. I, I think it's the other old map. I, I, okay. It crashed again. My bad, guys. My bad. I'll fix this for you in a jiffy. So, Renato donated three dollars through three pounds through stream labs or PayPal. And he says, donated three more pounds for the trauma of the Super Saiyan cream pie. I, oh my lord. Thank you so much for the three dollar. Uh, for the free pound donation and the Super Saiyan cream pie, it, 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 it depends if it's traumatic. If it's you doing the cream pie, uh, let's just say it's not really traumatic. It might be pleasurable, in fact. If you're taking a Super Saiyan cream pie, you're going to have PTSD for... In the afterlife, you're still going to have PTSD. Um, Colossal Saiyan donated $2 to Super Chan. He said, my question is... My question is happened to the stream about Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Oh, you want me to talk about it? There's not much. I ranked about Super Saiyan Blue Evolution in the last stream. That that's a dog shit form. Actually, you know what? Here's a really easy way to look for bad Dragon Ball arguments. Let's go on Twitter.com, right? It's my favorite platform. It's reliable, and we'll just search topics and we'll just search Dragon Ball. Uh, that's very easy. I might get I might get myself a slight headache, but we're doing this. So we're doing this. Let's do it. All right. Let me restart. Let me restart. Let me restart this. Guys, oh, wait, they're actually actually a donation I missed. My bad. Masked Saiyan donated two dollars super chest. Steed, what are your thoughts on full power Jiren? It's um, it's kind of most characters normally this light is way too intense. Um, let me go down. Yeah, um, it's kind of like most characters have a full power form that makes them buffer, but Jiren being as strong as he is and having a full power form is just kind of dumb. In like, that's how are you that strong? Like, how are you that strong? What did you do? Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's my opinion. If you mean in the game, I'm hyped for him to show up in, uh, in Xenoverse 2, because I really like playing as Jiren. I hate Jiren's character, but I like playing as him in the game. He's a big, meaty guy who punches you. Like, it, that, that's always fun. He's just a guy who has so much strength that it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna punch you. Oh, did you show a Kamehameha on me? Well, my strength was so high, it's just gonna go around me, so, you know. Alright. Let me see. Um... Let me see. I actually think there's no bad uh, takes right now. I think there's no bad takes on the, on the uh, Dragon Ball topic on Twitter. That might be a first. I don't normally go there, by the way. I only got the idea because uh, when I got this Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, when I was ranting about on the last stream, that was recommended to me for a Dragon Ball topic. So, uh, do 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 do. -do. Uh, let me get the uh, mod up and running again and hopefully not get uh, copyrighted for it or whatever. Um, the, oh, the 6th anniversary is out for Dokkan already? Baby? It's out already? Oh, DBZ Broly vs Tournament of Power Roshi. I think Tournament of Power, Tournament of Power characters are so dumb. I think he would actually beat DBZ Broly. I think he genuinely could. Because Tournament Power characters are just stupid. They're just brainlessly strong. Skip, 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 skip. I don't care about your fancy cutscene. I don't care. Man, I feel bad for whoever had to work on that. Because I didn't watch that shit at all. Okay. Can I summon for them? No? Well, I'm turning Dokkan off. So. Um. I can't summon for UI Goku yet. So I don't actually care. Let's get the screen back up. There we go, guys. There we go, baby. Let's uh, skip all of that. All right. Um. Let me see. I don't think uh, I don't think anyone feels like being stupid today. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, someone actually asked. I'll win. 
I still need to talk about Super Saiyan. No, I really did talk about Super Saiyan 3 Rosé. Yeah, I did. I did. I didn't forget that. My bad. See, how long has the stream been going for? An hour and 34 minutes. <laughs> Rule 34. Um, yeah, someone actually said, since everyone is Dragon... Since everyone else is Dragon Ball clout tweeting, do you consider Fuse Masu to be in a Super Saiyan form? He's half Goku Black, who was an SSJ Rose when they fused. And if so, what would you call it? White Rose, Divine SSJ? Do you think he could revert to base style hair? Um... Man, that's the problem with Dragon Ball Super. I was going to say that Fusamasu is a Super Saiyan because his hair is spiked up. Doesn't... I don't want to be a fucking asshole about this, but it doesn't take, like, rocket science to go, oh, his hair is spiked up and he's a fusion of a Super Saiyan. I think he's probably a Super Saiyan. You know what I mean? Um, As well as the fact that he doesn't have, like, base form aura. He has, like, uh... He has white aura at first, but he clearly gets the rosé aura later. So, um... I think it's easy to say that Goku Black is in... He's in a weird form of Super Saiyan Rosé where his hair is white just because he's fused with the Masu. Um, I, I wouldn't know what you'd call it. Maybe you could call it White Rose. I don't think White Rose sounds bad. White Rose doesn't sound that bad. Um, or Divine Essence. Yeah. I also think he could revert to base form. Now, I know people are going to say, but Steed, Elder Kai said that you probably can't go to base form if you transform when you fuse. Elder Kai also said fusion was infinite. So, fuck him. He doesn't... Anything Elder Kai says can be thrown out the window just because of the Goku Black arc. They go... The, oh my god, the ending of the Goku Black Hawk is so bad! What the fuck? It's so bad. So I'm gonna say Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu probably can't go back to this form. You wanna know why? Because I don't trust the guy who was wrong about one thing. He was wrong about something as crucial as being permanently fused. Fuck him, I don't care about what he has to say. I genuinely don't care about what he has to say. He can eat cocks. I don't care. So I think Goku, I think... I think Vegito Blue, Super Gogeta, any of those motherfuckers, I think the they could go energy, back, right? It would appear that I think I they could fuse me far more in their transform state and go back and be fine. Because Elder Kai is just dumb. He hasn't proven himself to be correct, so oh, fuck him. Um, that was actually, that was actually a good topic. I liked that. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, he's, he's, I'm not saying he's like, oh, he's a genius. But, you know, he talked about something about Dragon Ball on Twitter and it was actually interesting. I thought it was genuinely, I thought, I thought it was cool. So, the end of Goku Black Arc was bad. DBS has the worst writing, no matter what version. Steve, sorry for repeating this, but could you explain my god key? Oh, yeah, no, sorry. It's it's not your fault for repeating. I actually was supposed to get back to it. I did say I would get back to it, and I never did. Um, did DBS manga, did Black Arc better? It did. Okay, Steve, does Steve play Guilty Gear? I do. Um, all right. She, okay, well, god key is a waste because it's basically just key again for some reason, right? Um, here's the way I would have done it, right? If I was a writer or some shit. Here's normal key. It, you can do a bunch of crazy shit. Oh, I can make beams and fight. balls fight and like... Solza blades, you know? Solza blades. Yeah, I can make key blades and stuff. And then like, regular key is like this giant... It's like this giant skill tree of limitless possibilities. It's like, oh shit, baby. I could level up these points forever. You know what I mean? And God Key is like, in my opinion, the way I would make it, that God Key is way more limited as a skill tree, right? So when you tap into that God Key, you grab a bit of God Key. It mixes with you. It becomes you. Boom! Giant skill tree unlocked. It's not as diverse as regular key, but there's some special shit in that God Key. What can God Key do that regular key could never let you do? Well, let me see. God Key has the ability to, like, destroy shit. Oh, shit. Regular key wouldn't let me just straight up cancel out people's abilities in the area around me. That's pretty cool. What's another thing God Key could allow one to do? God Key could allow one to fucking... Uh, here's the way I would have done Ultra Instinct, by the way. I already talked about this with... Uh, hey, uh, I actually wasn't with you guys, I didn't. I Ultra Instinct is just a shitty automatic dodge grow? skill. When it should be like a fucking domain expansion. God, Ultra Instinct should be like in the area around you. Like, you know when characters charge up, they have a key that flares around them? Like... Not like, uh, not the way Ultra Instinct has like an aura that's just like, just around Goku's body. But like, the key like, is generally like, around the character. Maybe like a meter around the character, right? The way I'd have it is that Ultra Instinct allows you to manipulate energy anywhere in a meter around you. Like, some sort of crazy domain expansion, right? So when you're going for a punch against Goku, it's not that he's so fast, and his reaction is so good, that he can just dodge the attack. Because when you're during levels of strength, it doesn't matter how quick you can react, he would just fucking hit you anyways, right? But when you're during level, it should be like in the area around him as you go in for the punch. In the meter around him, he can immediately move his energy from one place to another. Like instant transmission, except he doesn't have to waste his time doing that. It's not as good as instant transmission in the hands that you can just warp anywhere in the universe. Hey, uh... Because 
The Ultra Instinct in the anime right now is so good that you don't that Goku now doesn't even use instant transmission when he's an Ultra Instinct because it's genuinely as good as instant transmission for no reason. Just fully invalidates it. So the way I'd have it is that he can manipulate energy and meter around him in a really cool manner. He can use it to fucking uh like let's say Jiren goes for a punch, Goku just literally moves his energy somewhere else. It happens in an instant, which is why it looks like he dodges everything. It also would allow him to do really cool shit, like he can make key blasts. If you're fighting him at point blank range, you're going like blow for blow, you're dodging. He can make key blasts spawn behind you and pull them towards you. Because that you're in his radius, you're in his range of his key control. His instincts are ultra, he can just... It, it, it's By the way, the way I'd have it is that the gods just call it ultra instinct, so mortals don't actually know what it's called. It's just a code word, you know how like the patriots and shit like that. Lolly lule lo, it's just bullshit. You're just saying that so people don't know what the bigger picture is, it's just a name. Right, it's just a name. It means nothing. It doesn't have to. It doesn't actually don't have to do with the ability. It's just a name. Hey, uh, That's the way I'd have it. Think if I went um, but Goku should be able to manipulate the key around him. He can make key blasts behind people and pull them in closer. Uh, I would also explain why he was able to fucking grab Granola from behind and pull him to the front, because Granola had entered his domain. You're in my domain, bitch. Boom! I grab you. You are in my domain and you're weaker than me. I can manipulate your key, take you in front of me, and just hit you now. That's that's the way I'd have it. You're in his key. Fuck you. That's how it works, <laughs> right? You're in his key. I will, I, I'm going to say it. it should be a power-up. It should still power him up, and he should still have the white hair. But it should mostly be, like, energy manipulation. Like, some good energy manipulation. That's the way I'd have it. Um, It should also... Yeah, in my opinion, in my opinion, time skip should be a god, uh, a god key move as well. Because time skip is so fucked up, and it's not something you could do with normal key. I don't know how the fuck Gordo did it, but let's just ignore that for the sake of argument, because they, they also forgot Gordo exists, so... Um, in my opinion, time skip should be a god key based ability because gods, hey, gods have the ability to do anything, right? It wouldn't be crazy if gods had the ability to manipulate space and time. We taps the stick on the ground, goes back in time. Wow. Wouldn't be crazy if a nigga, if some other nigga could manipulate time because they have god key. I, I want to believe that. I want to believe that's possible. Or well, not possible, but that's the way I would have liked to do it. Because the actual god key is just shit. It's just fucking bad. Oh, it's a power up. Man, Toriyama, I am... If if you ever show up to, like, a fan meet and greet, I would gladly go to prison. I'm not even going to say that, because Toriyama's got dudes outside my house right now. I can hear them. You there? Uh... No? Ah, oh, shit, he's not here. Let's, let's try another time. Oh, wait, wait a minute! <laughs> Random person, he already talked about that. Oh, wait, what, what did I already talk about? Time skip a time controller, two different things. No, yeah, I, I know. How the fuck would I not know this? Hey, uh, think if I went would I not know Saiyan, my goatee would Um, I don't know. <laughs> all right, I, I'm, all right. Um, but yeah, the way I'd have God Key B is that you could do a bunch of cooler shit with it. I don't know. Look at other mangas. Look at uh, the way other mangas do cool shit like that, man. What if there was a guy who had God Key so he could use it to, like, do what fucking Megumi does? All these other summoner characters in all these animes. Oh, I use my God Key. Yeah, bro! When Goku and Beerus got God Key, didn't they make fucking dragons and shit? And the dragons were, like, manifesting around? Nigga! Just make God Key unique! Why are you so fucking lazy? Just... Oh, Dragon Ball would be so much cooler if Toriyama wasn't fucking, like, 60 or some shit, man. So old! There's no way my nigga remembers anything. He got a couple of any good ideas. All he remembers is to fucking take his fucking fucking pill with his drink every morning. Otherwise, he'll have a heart attack or some shit. Man. Has anyone even seen Toriyama? He's probably dead. He's probably just in a cryo chamber. Hey, uh, and he comes out every now and then, writes notes, and goes back inside the cryo chamber. Man, where is he? I'm, I'm convinced Toriyama is either not alive or he's a fucking, like, alien. He was some bullshit we made up this whole time. He comes here to test the to test the patience of humanity. He's an alien and he knew humanity was so dumb. He's gonna create the worst fucking series ever. And it's just gonna be the biggest it's gonna be one of the biggest forms of media ever. And it worked. So I shouldn't say that because original Dragon Ball in the beginning of Z was actually quite fire. It's just everything after that is just trash. So Akira gonna sue Steed for trying to for making this make actual sense. I'm just saying I would have had God Keep be insane. The way gods can do anything, I would have just had God Keep be like that. Man. How much cooler would have been like, oh yeah, oh the reason why Hit is a big is a big shot guy is because he had God Key just like us. The reason why we could body freeze this bitch ass, right, even though he was stronger than us, is because we had God Key. We could do cool shit. Even though Freezer was stronger than me, if he tries to go in for a hit, 
Goku would quickly tap into that fucking Ultra Instinct, manipulate his fucking body somewhere else. Frieza would be like, oh, how the fuck did he do that? Nigga, you were right. I, that was my hit. Then he just gets molly whopped while he's thinking about it. In the confusion, in the confusion, he's thinking about it. Doesn't do shit. Just gets body. How much better would it have been if the fucking, if the, the, what's the, oh, the one inch punch scene is so fucking bad in the anime. Holy shit. He literally just punches Goku in his forehead for no reason. By the way, if you actually punch someone in the forehead, you'd probably fucking break the shit in your hand. Don't do that. But Frieza punches him in his forehead and Goku just goes, just takes it. He's like smiling or some shit. Like, by the way, if you still punch someone in the forehead, it would hurt. So I don't know how Goku's smiling. Um, he's just going, <laughs> and he turns Frieza around. Frieza does the dumbest, slowest, like, oh, 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 and he turns around, and Goku charges. He like charges up the, the most haymaker, like Potemkin fucking punch ever, and Frieza turns around slowly, like, oh, like straight into the fucking punch. It's not even anime. It's not animated good. It looks fucking stupid. No nothing is cool about it. They, mm, man. Goku's head is too thick to feel it. Piccolo can sense God Key. We Piccolo fans be eating steed. God Key should be like magic. Um, I shouldn't. I don't think it should be as lawless as magic because magic means you could just do anything. At that point, like I think Black Clover utilized magic so well to a point where it's like, bro, if you're born without magic, you're basically dead. You don't even exist. <laughs> you got niggas with magic that can fucking change space, gravity, give them fucking immortal life, darkness, light. Anti-magic to fuck over the magic niggas. You got niggas with word magic that can literally say uh, Raining swords and swords just come raining down on you. It's like I don't want it to be that lawless I want it to at least have some rules like you can only make something uh, in tandem with how much god key you put into hey, it uh, Let's say go super Saiyan, Why are you guys still, why are you guys still talking? Let's, let's, let's get into the CPU lobby Please keep Brandon because he's just I don't want to run forever. I do actually want to have some games in the background, but these topics will get way too interesting. Um, I'll make it quick, right? But let's say a character had God Key. Let's say Goku's fighting Frieza. Frieza's going golden for me. He's fighting Blue Goku. And Goku's like, oh, I can barely use that fucking Ultra Whatchamacallit that Whis was talking about. I need to think of something that's l that burns up less of my God Key. And Goku will do some weird shit, right? He puts his hand forward like that, and Frieza thinks a Key Blast is coming. He, like, stops and gets ready to block it. And he gets blasted in his back. And he's like, none he. And while he's like thinking about how the fuck did that blast hit me from behind? Goku just gets some good hits. Gets some good hits on Golden Freezer. You know, that, that could be the reason why Goku won. It's not just that Goku's a better fighter and all that shit, right? Because Freezer is still objectively stronger than him. It's stated in all forms of media. Go, Free, Golden Freezer is objectively stronger than Blue Goku. His power drops over time. Fair enough. But he, he should still be beating his ass. So Goku should have some cool shit. He just has some baller shit going on. Frieza, I don't know, Frieza could throw a fucking golden death slicer, right? Goku, like, dodges the death slicer, but before it gets outside of his god key, he quickly catches it. And he's, like, redirecting it towards Frieza, and he throws it. And Frieza's like, now hold on a minute. You can't do that. You can't catch the structure disc. Let's just forget about Cell. And let's just forget about Cell and Gohan, just please. And he's like, you can't catch a move that strong and throw it back. That doesn't make sense. I don't fuck. Uh, what? How are you able to do this, monkey? He's just getting racist, you know what I mean? Goku doesn't tell him shit. Goku's like, this is the hard work I attend from training with Lord Beerus. And Frieza's like, Beerus? And then the arc ends because he leaves. So why would you fight a guy who trains with Beerus and left? Um, but uh, yeah, no, in my in my opinion, I would like it more if Goku and Vegeta were actually using God Key shit. You know, v Vegeta's a loud mouth, lazy motherfucker. He's a dickhead. He's stupid. All he knows is Hakai. That's, he knows some God Key shit, but the only, he only knows Hakai, right? Frieza, uh, I don't know. After he... Free, uh, oh, oh, hey, oh, pri Prince Vegeta. He's the prince of no one. He's gay. And Vegeta punches him and Frieza shoots all the blasts, right? Instead of walking through the blasts like he de does in the fucking movie or reflecting like he does in the anime, they're just hissing him and they're getting deleted out of existence. And Frieza's like, oh! And then clap, 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 clap. Just bodies Frieza, right? And the Beerus could be like, oh, Vegeta got that shit kind of done well. And Reese is like, yeah, but it's, it's, those are weakened. They're, 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 need I remind you, Lord, that those blasts are from a weakened golden freezer. I'm sure Vegeta has no trouble swatting those away like they're a fly. Just to establish that, right, yes, Vegeta does have a really good hack ability. But it's trash. It's only working because Freezer is so weak that he that he, Vegeta's low-ass level of Hakai can delete Freezer's blasts. Cool. 
So that way, when we're like, what would the, what would the good Hakai look like? What if you were good with Hakai? What would that look like? And then you see Beerus just deletes the master out of existence, and you're like, oh shit. So now we know Vegeta is going to get to that level at some point, and we need to see. We need to wait until that happens. We need to wait until and see until. Nope. Let's introduce Hakai uh, when fucking. Uh, after Vegeta beats Topo, now he can suddenly like use it. No, you should have set, set this shit up from the beginning. What is wrong with you? How fucking dumb are you? It would have been nice to see moments like that. Uh, like the characters slowly utilizing more and more of their god key. That would have been cool. It would have been a nice excuse for why Goku can move and hit time skip. Because they're both using god key. So Goku's like, shit, all I need to do is make sure my god key is on. It's going to be wait. Like, oh shit, how do I describe it? You know that stupid game you play with your friends? Where like a guy would like turn around? What's that game? Green light, red light? I don't fucking know. Some dude would look at a wall. And he would turn around. And if you were moving, get the fuck out. Leave. Fuck off. Go away. You're not part of the game anymore. Eat. Just go away. That game. That's what it should be like. If Hit, if Hit turns on his time skip and Goku is is moving, if, if Hit turns on his time skip and Goku does not have God Key on, he gets his ass grabbed into it. Caught. I caught your ass. But if Goku leaves his shit on the whole time, if you run towards a person during red light, green light, and they look at you, or they don't look at you until the very end. You just wasted a bunch of energy and time. You wasted your time and energy. If Goku just leaves his god key on while he's fighting here, then it's just wasting. And then he won't have it when he actually stops time. But you don't know when it's going to stop time. It's like, oh shit, when could he do it? Is it when he's going in for an attack? Is it when he's trying to defend himself? He could be getting pressured and randomly activated. Or he could just take the blows. You know what I mean? It could be like a, a really serious game of red light, green light. And Goku doesn't know when he would activate his god key. All Goku knows is that Hit can only use it from, like, a certain distance because of the time of his time skip. But then Hit goes, you're thinking about it all wrong, son Goku. And because the time skip is way longer now, he can do it from all the way fucking there before Goku's even turned on his shit and just body his ass. And then it's like, there you go. If I beat you, then what, what, what does it, it doesn't even matter. You have God Key, does it? You just lost. But no. Uh, Goku just goes Kaioken, and I guess now Kaioken can just swim in the time stop, but not anymore. We 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 talked about that hours ago. Not anymore. Now Hit can just randomly uh stop you. Goku resisted the time stop, and now Hit can just stop him again. Just get fucked. Don't, who cares? That would have made things extra baller. Could you imagine that? They go from fighting Beerus, who barely uses any God Key against God Goku, to fighting Frieza, someone who has no grasp on God Key, showing how baller that makes Goku and Vegeta to possess such power. They fight Hit, someone who's only got a little bit of God Key, but his ability for it is really goddamn good. Hit's never trained with a God, he just maybe stumbled across it someday, or maybe he was born lucky and had some God Key in him, and he invested it all in Time Stop. And then imagine, imagine the next arc, fighting Goku Black. The nigga is a God! He literally could do all the shit Goku could do. He could also... But let, maybe he doesn't know Ultra Instinct, right? Because he, you'd have to kind of know about it beforehand. We kind of has to tell you it exists. Because maybe maybe only angels know about Ultra Instinct. Because they fucking bust their balls. Figuring that bullshit out. Go, as a Kaioshin, Zamasu doesn't really know about it. But he knows about all the other god key hacks that he's capable of doing. For example, fuck... Um, I mean, I guess healing is a Supreme Kai move in general, right? Let's just say healing is a god key move. Fuck it. I'm going to say that. Namekians are way closer related to gods because they're called Kamis and they have all that Dragon Ball bullshit going on. And they heal people. So I'm going to I'm gonna say that, right? So let's just say healing people is a god key move. That's a god key move now. I don't care. Uh, I missed a donation. Shh. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I'm so sorry, guys. Um... Let me see, let me see. Hmm, interesting. Colossus Saiyan actually donated five... I'm so sorry that I missed that. Holy shit. Colossus Saiyan actually donated five dollars for Super Chan. Says, no, you already talked about it before and streamed it a week ago and never put it on the second channel. By the way, excuse my intricacies. Oh. I, I'm going to have to take a word for it. I don't think I actually put it on the second channel. Holy... Well, those will both go up tonight, then. How about that? How about that? Those will both go up on the second channel tonight. So, Yeah. Thank you so much for the uh, $5 donation. And a reminder, this is Colossus Saiyan, I should say. Thank you very much. Uh, Colossus Saiyan also donated another $2. Said, Can we see all the God Destructions fight? I think every God Destruction is in this mod. So actually, we'll do that. That's it. Thank you again for another $2 donation. And we'll do that. But yeah, I would have liked if God Key was super unique. Um, if uh, Goku Black could do some of the shit Goku could do. And he could do even more fucked up shit. Because, you know, he's actually a god. He just moves his body. So he still has a good idea of how to harness God Key. So Masu could still wish to be immortal, that's fine, because, you know, he's not that strong. He would just die immediately, even if he had the ability to heal 
and all these other fucked up god key powers. Like, you know, how the most with psychic powers in the manga and shit could just stop you dead in your tracks, bro. Make that god key power and just make it so that Frieza was so strong that he could do that to Goku Ball. That's the only reason why. Because the gap between him and Goku was so big, he could just psychic you. But naturally, like psychokinesis or like let's just call it space manipulation or gravity, gravity manipulation, gravi gravikinesis, right? Gravikinesis, yes, Scarlet Nexus. We'll call it gravikinesis. Zamasu can manipulate fucking uh, space and I don't know sometime because of it. I, I don't know. Maybe Goku Black and Zamasu can actively cheat in the fight by constantly going back in time. Maybe Goku Black can go back in time by like five seconds or some shit. Just so he can undo some damage on himself and still know what his enemy is going to do. Which is why he always one-ups everyone. Rather than just being that he is a god at fighting and he knows everything even though he was a Kaioshin. Just make it so that, oh yeah, Trunks beat me. But then I went back in time by five seconds. I know what he's going to do now. I know how he fights. I'm casually learning Trunks' style. Okay, now I just body Trunks every fucking time I fight him. The same thing with Goku and Vegeta. And then, eventually it stops after a certain point because going back in time isn't going to change the fact that Vegeta is just caught up to him. Vegeta's learned, I don't know, maybe Vegeta's figured out more Hakai bullshit. Who knows? Don't forget Goku like created the scythe that slashed into the sky and made clones. That could have all been a god key ability. But, uh, no, it's just a random one-off ability that we'll never see ever again. In just, just randomly, just, oh, I can make clones. And uh, yeah, that's it. Fuck you. Uh, but who knows? Do you like how Jojo? In yeah, I know. I like how Jojo introduces new powers I immensely. Wasn't it shown Goku can lift stuff with his mind when he was in a full-body cast? I don't know if that was filler or not, which is why I didn't. Um, I I'm not trying to use stuff that I might confuse with filler. This man just made a complete power system. I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm down bad for Dragon Ball, but they actually tell you shit that matters and it's actually good. Where are the gods at? Where you motherfuckers at? Oh yeah, here you are. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, good. So they actually are. I think I can only get five of them fighting each other. We'll make Beerus, uh, the la I'll make Beerus the last one for his team. Beerus and Vamad will be the last one. So, Fish Boy, get on that team. Get on that team, Fish Boy. Where are you, Fish Boy? You an elephant man. And, uh, and, um, <laughs> let me see. And, uh, Sidra's weak as fuck. Liquor, yes. Let's just put, no, I want to put Beerus and Champer on the same team, I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to put them on the same team. I want to put Vermont on a different team from Beerus, though. You really created a new series ability? I mean, shit. Toriyama, whenever you're ready, hire me. I'm just, just saying. Just give me, like, $2 billion, because I know you make, like, 1,200,000 every single time one episode gets published, so. <laughs> I, know you make, I know you make, you're, you're like a quintillionaire, bro. Just, just, just set me something, and I'll, and I'll lend you the idea. Team Furry. Oh yeah, well we'll add this guy to it then. And then we'll put Beerus at the end. I think I will, I will put Champ on the other team. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, I should probably turn off this fan. <coughs> I wish I could have muted my mic, but I knew it wasn't gonna happen. So, Wednesday dropping his credit card in... Wow, Twilight. Wow. Bless you, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Thank you thank you so much for the bless yous. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Let's get the other team going. Oh, wait. Shit. Okay. Fish, elephant, fox, furball, beerus. Okay. So, I can't pick fish, elephant, fox, or furball. So, dwarf... Okay, I can pick the rest of these guys. Um, we'll have the mouse guy be there just because he's fucking annoying. Actually, do I want Moscow? Moscow? I kind of want to. I kind of want to see this guy get bodied. I don't like him so. Champa, of course. Where is your boy? Oh, Beerus. Oh, Beerus. My favorite dude. All right, where's Vermont too? There we go. Cool. I think we're I think we're Gucci. Why is Steed stream better and more consistent than DBS? Oh, why Steed's system? I I mean, I don't know. 
I want to say if DBS didn't have a lot of time to think, but Dragon Ball was on fucking... GT was how many years ago? They had infinite time to come up with shit and they just didn't, so... Um, we'll have to find a tournament of power because that, that's what they fought in the uh, manga, so... Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Twilight says, wait, hold up, is that a $500 donation I missed? Uh, yeah, it actually was. I'm very surprised by it. Omega Daddy is a, a super chill dude. He's an Omega lad. He's a s extreme Omega lad. Um, let me see. Let me see. All right. Um, I'm going to summon on the uh, celebration summon. T I think the game crashed. Oh, no, it didn't. Thank fuck. I'm going to summon on the, you know, the, 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 the banner with Krillin on the front tying his thing. I've got some tickets for that, so I'll just summon it. And if I get anything good, I'll let you guys know. Who do you think you are? Bow to my yeah, uh, Omega Daddy is a super cool dude. He's, he's been an Omega Chad in every stream. I still don't know how to repay his kindness. I want to be a god tier YouTuber, but I'm also stupid and dumb. So it'll take, it'll take a bit. But I know I can do much better. I was doing better before, so. What the fuck is going on? What is this guy's attack? Damn, what's his name? Sidra? Sidra go ham. Sidra goes bananas. I want to see them use more destruction move. Come on. Come on, throw out them motherfucking Hakai's. Um, wasn't Boo supposed to be a demon? I'm not too sure about that. I just remember it was supposed to be some weird magic entity. Um, I got an SSR into 18. It's not really important, but I, I thought I'd let you guys know if I got any SSRs. It's the long time viewer. Could you please use the alternate costumes every now and then? Every now and again in matches. It's fun to see that stuff. Thanks, bro. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, fella. I will do my best whenever I can. I'm just worried about for the God of Destruction, it will just be different characters or some shit. So. Ooh, point blank. Okay. Any SSRs in this? Any SSRs in this? Any SSRs, please? Uh, STR. Is that STR Gotenks? STR Super Gotenks? Sir. Yeah, I'm sure it's good if you easy easier, but I, I still haven't been stupid. Um, when Dragon Ball Super 17 made the wish to bring Raku the universes that were erased, wouldn't that by default bring uh, the other six universes that Xeno erased should return since that was stated to be... Yeah. Um, y the thing is that if you wrote Dragon Ball to be competent, they would have done that, so that way there would have been other universes to explore. I'm not saying that you can't explore the other universes right now, but they straight up just took the strongest dudes from all those universes and immediately made them fight in the tournament. So all that, those universes are all boring now, straight up. Those universes have nothing to offer. They just showed you the strongest dudes in those universes. But um, if they brought back the other deleted universes, you could at least say, oh, they can explore those places now at least. But, you know, Toriyama's just so fucking smart. His brain is just so obese. He's so, he's just such a genius. He's like an old man with dementia and has no idea what the fuck he's doing. Um, yeah. What's your favorite transformation? Mine is God. Mine is base Super Saiyan. Um, yeah, because I'm just, a, I'm a normal. Mine is just regular Super Saiyan 1. That's my favorite. EZA is good. He did say all universes. Didn't, yeah, he didn't specify, but I feel like if they brought back the other universes, they would have done that. Even the manga should have done something with that by now. So, you know, Toriyama's not thinking about it. You know Toriyama's not thinking about it. Oh shit, the fox came in? Hey, Fox McCloud with his keyblade. They even gave him a unique keyblade. What the fuck? Mouth beam? Hey, okay. Wow. He actually did get a unique keyblade. Holy shit. Um, can we talk about Universe 6? The world hit is in. It's so cool. Being like a dystopia. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, li I like that a lot. There could be some drunk people who didn't go like boo in the other universes. I feel like it'd be a real stretch, because even if there was some drunk people that didn't go, everyone was still scared of Jiren. So I don't feel like anyone who would have been stronger than him anyways. And Dragon Ball only goes up in escalation. They're not going to look for a guy who's about as strong as Jiren. No, it only goes up. Dragon Ball Super really is the one time I think that he didn't make the next guy stronger than the last. I genuinely believe that. I think it's the one time where they didn't make the next guy stronger than the last. I'm sure if you ask the Toei exec, they'll say, Nah, Broly's stronger, bro. Because they know everything, so. They actually know who's stronger and stuff, so. Yeah. Vegeta only fought Kid so Goku could go full power. 2020 of Dokkan was the worst year. It, I don't even remember anything from 2020 of Dokkan, so maybe you're right. What do you think about Oob having God Key? Uh, 
I don't know what the reason for him having it in show is, but if he's a reincarnation of Kid Buu and Kid Buu is naturally like kind of weird and fucked up, then I, I think it's fine. I think it's okay, just because it's okay. Just because Kid Buu's fucking weird like that. But the, I can't see enough reason past that. 2020 Dokkan was out. Uh, okay. When does the fucking uh, banner show up that actually adds those two uh, morons in so I can summon for them? I'm tired of looking at banners that I don't care about. My fate form is base Saiyan, no transformation, no Hakari raffle, no rage, just a, no, yeah, no, just normal Super Saiyan. JK, it's between SS, uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, or SSJ 4. Hey. Some good picks, some good picks. It's kind of weird because they could sense Kid Booski. Um, I don't know. Probably. Dragon Ball's just fucking weird, man. Oh, what's Champa doing? He's threatening you. Oh, he just goes ask me. Imagine, imagine going and then getting your ass beat. I lulled out loud. Okay. 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 It wasn't even the color of a guy. Okay. Guys, you don't understand. Hawkeye. He did Hakai twice? Yeah, he did. That was loud. It was fucking loud, yeah. Oop has God Key because when Fat Boo and Kid Boo split, Kid Boo kept all the good God Key from the Kai's they absorbed. Yeah, but isn't Oop also the reincarnation of Kid Boo, not Fat Boo? Only Fat Boo died. That's the one Goku was wishing to come back. I wish you come, would come back someday, but not a piece of shit. Alright, see ya. Let me delete some from the distance. Oh, is he doing it again? What's he doing? Is that, how, is that how that guy clashes? Oh my god, I love it. He just clashes like this. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna touch you. You're too weak. I don't want to waste my time. It's a waste of my energy. I don't want to. I don't want to put my hands on you. Your next line is Hakai. Imagine using Hakai against another Hakai. They could, uh, they could sense Fat Boost Kiva. Yeah, I think they actually could. Goku was like, hold on, Vegeta, do you sense that massive energy? So they can clearly sense Boost Key. I don't know, it's a weird mix of they can't sense this key and they can. It's just Dragon Ball bullshit. Chad's Clash? Hey, yo, Tails, oh my god, Miles Tails Prowler is a Chad, yeah. He just flew into that. Well, Chompa's winning this. Chompa's actually slapping ass. I think Chopper may win. Potential leads to my favorite transformation. Potential, potential leads is good. I just kind of hate the way they get it. So let me see. What's it going to be? How about a big? How about a big? Okay. Um. Is there like a rebrand event going on? In Dokkan? I'm too stupid to know anything about it, so I'm not really going to elaborate further. Nah, bro, that's QB from Naruto, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, fair enough, yeah. Dude, do you think God the Key should be like magic? Uh, Henry X Ikari said. I already said this, but if it was like magic, then it would be like Black Clover, where like everyone can just do random shit. And I think that'd be a bit too much for Dragon Ball. I think it'd be better if God Key was just kind of... It was like a limited form of magic, where like... It's not like magic, my bad, but you, you you can like manipulate reality in a really weird way because of it. I would have liked that more than uh, because magic is like, bro. I've already said this in Black Clover. They got gravity magic, time magic, spatial magic, blood magic, curse warding magic. Uh, just a bunch of fucking shit, man. Wind, fire, the generic ones. Anti magic to fuck over those niggas who are really good at regular magic. Light magic, dark magic, word magic. If it was like that, then I'm sure one guy in Dragon Ball have an ability where he deletes God Key from existence. Like, he can drain your God Key, and at that point, it'd be way... I think a villain like that would be way too hard to handle. Um, so yeah. I, I don't know what to think about that. Jesus, this elephant man is going in on Champa. He really is going in on Champa, yeah. He's going in. Potential leash is nothing but your base having the hidden potential unlocked. Oh, well, the elephant really is going ham. He said, fuck you, Champa. He's going in. This fight might take forever. You mean Mora? Can Mora drain God Key? I thought he could just drain regular energy. 
I thought Mora just drained energy in general. And he couldn't touch God Key or some shit. Am I wrong? I don't like his massive head. Well, GG. That massive head is what you get. Can we see Sun Family versus Vegeta Family? I think the stream's actually gone for long enough. It's been going for two hours and nine minutes. So I think I will. Is this his ultimate? Oh, yep. This is ultimate. Champa got fucked. Oh my god. Um, we'll do Vegeta Family. I think we've done that before in a previous year. But we'll still do it again. It's been a while. Um, Steve, do you think Universe 7 should have gone into the H HTC to get that potential unleashed with Supreme Kai? HTC. Hyperlink Time Chamber? Um, that would have made sense. I want to say the tournament would have been way too easy. It wouldn't have been because Jiren is still so dumb it wouldn't have mattered. He drained UI and lost because he couldn't control it. He did? I thought he took UI from uh, Mirus. I thought he got UI from Mirus, not from Goku. Am I wrong? Yeah. Oh, he got Goku from Vegeta. Oh, yeah, Moro just copies powers. Yeah, he doesn't actually know how to use them. He just steals them. Um, yeah, maybe. Your version of Goku reminds me of Oversoul from Shaman King. I don't know what either of those are, but that sounds interesting. He got UI from Mira, so yeah. That would have been a really nice fight, though. Because Goku's throwing bullshit at Moro, like, you've never learned how to fight, did you? But Moro, like, actually does have skill. He just doesn't have good control over his energy because he just steals them. It's not like Cell, where he, like, gets all the knowledge of what he takes from people, too. It's like, oh, what's this move? Is this the, an ultimate? Now this is the fucking stupid blast move again. Oh my god. Yeah, it would have been nice to UI Goku fighting Moro. And Moro's like laughing, talking about how like, Goku's UI is gonna run out before his, because his was already on. And Goku's like, oh, you think this is a contest of strength? And then Goku starts using the actual God techniques, you know, it's like the fucking hack psychic power. He showed up against fucking Mirus. Bro! When Goku made a giant fucking key version of himself, that could have all been God Key. That doesn't have to be an ultra instinct unique power. That could have just been God Key. Because God Key, like I said, should allow you to bend reality, should allow you to do shit. Goku should have been able to do mad stuff. That would have been nice to see, but. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm small. I don't want to do it. Let's just make God Key and make it do nothing. Let's have it be boring as fuck. Let's have God Key be so trash. Kale is a le legendary super in a regular key. Walks up to a Super Saiyan Blue and just grabs his head through his Kamehameha. God Bind technique was only used once. Yeah, it's really rare when they make a unique technique, but all of those could just be God Key. Goku just pulls out a Susanna. Yeah. It would have been nice if Goku showed like some really cool God Key moves against uh, Moro. Like some Ultra Instinct moves and Moro, Moro couldn't copy them because he has the move already. He just doesn't have the intelligence or know how to use it. You know what I mean? It'd be like if so, it'd be like, all right, let's say we live in the, God forbid, right? God forbid, but let's say we all live in the Fire Force universe. God forbid. And we all know how to throw fire. Some of us just know how to do it better than others. So we can do crazy shit. Let's say I know how to make like a fire suit of armor. And you're like, oh shit, I want to do that. And you can also do some crazy fire shit, but you don't know, you don't even have the know-how. You don't even, you can't even conceptualize how to make a fire suit of armor. And there's no situation where, you, where it can be taught to you. So unfortunately, you can't use it. That's the kind of situation Moro's in. Also, I'm really sorry for putting the idea in, you, in your head that you live in the Fire Force universe. I wouldn't want to do anything so bad to you guys like that. Not because it's like the Attack on Titan universe, but because I can't imagine living in a world so poorly written. So bad. Bro, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to say that. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's Furball's time, it's Furby. Um Gremlin's time. Is Verm wait, Vermont, you were supposed to fight Beerus at the end. What the fuck? He's losing already? Everyone, if you could come with your own key blast, what would you call it? Biggest dickers. I'm taking that one point and take it. Um Yeah, but I would like if God key if God Key was way cooler. Um if it was just much cooler. Rather than Moro's power overloading, it's just that Goku fucks him up, and Moro just thinks the only way to make things better is by powering up and more. And that's when his power starts to fuck up. And shit like that, right? Um, maybe Moro becoming the Earth is a mix of his own ability and God Key. 
Like, if you use God Key, you can actually turn into the fucking Earth. But because it mixes with Mora's ability, that's all Mora knows how to do. And Mora's like, oh, look, see, I'm the Earth now. Ooh, now you can't kill me by destroying your planet. And Goku's like, Goku's like, what an asshole. What a fucking prick. That's the, of course, that's the only thing this motherfucker would know how to use, right? And Whis is like, ah, what a disgusting use of our power, Jesus. And Beerus can be the fucking idiot and then do the same revival F shit where he goes, it's a dirty trick, but it's effective. Again, right? He could just do that again. And, oh, I, one thing I would really like about Dragon Ball Super is if they were way more active. Like, if, if Moro was turning into a fucking, but I, if they did this in the manga and it didn't, then please correct me because I didn't, I don't, I don't read the manga. But if, if, if Beerus is like, you know what, Moro is wasting too much time and now he's dragging Earth into this shit, man. Man, just, and Beerus is like flying in, his arm behind the back, he's like floating in, Goku's arm like cuts in. And Beerus like looks at Goku cutting him in and Beerus is like, oh, you're telling me to stop now, huh? Telling me to stop! And everyone in the background is like, oh shit, did Goku tell Beerus to stop? Does Goku think he can handle Moro even though Moro's holding the planet hostage? So that way we know, shit, Goku, our man, he knows what he's doing. Our man Goku knows what he's doing. Give him credit where he's due. At least in Ultra Instinct, he can tell Beerus to not interfere, right? He's got that much confidence. He's like, hey Beerus, chill. Chill. I think I've got this, right? I've got this. And we, we used maybe like laughs in the background because he's like, oh shit, Goku's got balls now. I really want to see what the Saiyan can do. Give Goku... Goku used to be fucking cool. Remember when Goku used to be cool? Remember when Goku used to do shit? We were like, oh shit! When was the last time that happened? Just the sliding Kamehameha. That's it. The only the sliding Kamehameha. The whole of Dragon Ball Super is just the sliding Kamehameha. Oh, oh, let's give him a, a bit more credit, right? Just the sliding Kamehameha and a few more, like, things that he does in Ultra Instinct. So that's it. Vegeta's key, yeah, Vegeta's key dispersion should be a god key technique. It should be. It can be like a subgenre of Hakai. Destruction would be you completely get rid of it, and uh, key diversion would be if you could split it down the middle. You know what I mean? If that's like, oh, that would have been so cool. Oh, I can even remove it entirely. But if I don't have the power to do that, at least let me split it down the middle. Let's say Vegeta's fighting fucking Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, right? Hakai. Doesn't work on him. Gogeta's smiling, laughing, brushing that shit off, and Vegeta's like, alright, you're too strong. So let me, let me, let me work with something a bit less. Let me work down the middle. You can split it to two different guys now. That would have been cool. It's like a subgenre of a guy. That would have been nice. Like, it's part of the skill tree. It's part of the same destruction skill tree. He could have slid in somewhere else. God damn it. How did you say that? I was watching the old DBZ movies and they were so badass. Goku used to be cool, but now he's just playing stupid. Dragon Ball fell off. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if Goku used Goku Black Scythe and shit after you beat him. I don't think Goku needs a Scythe. I think that's too edgy. But I feel, I, I feel like it would have been cool if Goku had uh, had used other, like, God Key uh, related moves. Like, he would have seen Goku Black try something. Maybe in the tournament of power, right? Maybe in the tournament of power, he's about to get hit by some bullshit. So he, like... Because, you know, in Dragon Ball, they always do these weird one-off moves that they never have the character ever do again. They could have had Goku get hit by some bullshit in the tournament of power. And Goku's, like, thinking about how he could barely dodge it and get out of the way. And he, like, thinks back. He thinks about the memory. Ikerugai! And Goku's like, shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose if I don't, if I'm gonna lose if I don't do anything, so let me at least try it. And he puts his arm like this, holds it like as if it's a sword, and he creates like a blue blade and it like cuts the blast in half. And he takes the energy off of his arm, his arm is like kind of sizzling, it's got smoke coming off it, and it's like, ah, crap, ah, shit. And everyone could go, whoa, what did Kakarot just do? And Vegeta could be like, Braku, he's like thinking, he's like thinking of when Goku Black used to make keyboards. What is this guy doing? Was that the Team Gohan walk? For the Hakai? Why did it- wait, I- I get that- I get that God Destructions only have Hakai, right? But why is it just every- it's just every cutscene in the game, but Hakai- the effects will change the Hakai. That's all the ultimates are now. Um, oh yeah, but I wouldn't really let- OH SHIT! Who said that? Joshua Cadwell. Joshua, you're the man. You're the fucking man. Holy shit. A God Key Staff! Make him Son Wukong again, bro! Ah! That was- that was way smarter- that was way smarter than the one I, I came up with. That was good. Uh, yeah, if a key blast comes towards him and he like makes a god key powerful and like spins it out of the way or like puts the staff in the way and it parts the fucking blast. Where are you? What's your name, Joshua? You're the man. You're the man. You're the man. You're the man. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That that was actually good. Bring back his son Wukong roots. My man's long abandoned those. See, if god key was like really cool key shit, like key construction, key manipulation, key destruction, all this reality warping, man. 
Man, Dragon Ball is so cool. Now, I'm not saying Dragon Ball Super isn't fucking cool now, right? But it's so cool in such a minor instance of things that it, it's not enough. I think most people would agree that Dragon Ball Super as a whole is not worth it. It's not worth... The minor good parts in Dragon Ball Super aren't worth, like, all the, the stupid bullshit and retcons and all the other fucking garbage they add to it. It's really not worth it. So... Yeah, imagine Goku saying Power Ball extend with his god key. Oh my god, that would be so cool. The Power Ball is collecting... It is in a closet collecting dust somewhere. Piccolo could really make stuff out of thin air. Would Kami have god key? Well, I feel like Kami's... Uh, I feel like Kami... Um, what? Dragon types? Those are the ones that manipulate Dragon Balls, right? Because didn't Dende know Beerus was a god? Even though Dende, like, is basically not in the main story. Dende knew Beerus was a god. He could probably link to his god key. Because maybe Dragon type, Dragon type Namekians have God Key, right? Maybe he was linking to Beerus' God Key, and because of that, that's how he knew that guy has God Key. Because he's not a Namekian, and he just has God energy. He has this weird Dragon type energy like us. So he has to be a God. Some shit's going on. You know what I mean? Like, the, yeah, wasn't the Dragon Clans the ones with the with the with with all the God shit, and they were like all passive, and the warrior types of the fighters? That would have been cool. That would have been awesome, bro. Could you imagine uh, if God key, if they made God Key allow you to create things like power poles and fucking like fucking energy blades? And you know how Trunks makes the other half of his sword with key as well? That could have also been fucking God Key. Let's say Trunks just fucking steals it. I don't know. It's hanging out with Goku and Vegeta for too long. It just rubs off on him. Um, I don't know, man. They, could you imagine if... if oh, the, here's the thing I don't like about Dragon Ball the most, right? I think Dragon Ball Gaming Channel... It would have benefited me greatly if the series was better, because cooler shit would be in the games. When Jiren throws that blast and turns around and it's a big explosion, they've seen that. They have to put that in every game now. You want to know why? Because they need to cater to the fan base. So if Goku had shown a power pole fucking energy stick, they'd have been like, shit, we have to put that in the game now. Bro. Bro. We could have had God Key. Blue fucking power pole, blue Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We could have had fucking God Key manipulation for custom characters. We could have had God Key for custom characters in Xenoverse 2. We could have had that. We could have had all these cool fucking things in Xenoverse 2. Nah, get fucked actually. Just suck, bro. Who cares? Just get fucked. We've been talking about God Key for ages. Who, who was the one who asked that question? You were. You were it, was, it was nice of you to bring that up because me and my brother used to always rant about fucking God Key and how it should have been way cooler. Um, so I'm really glad you asked that. Bandai would make it trash anyways. They would, they would. And it'd be one really cheesy one. It'd be like a god key energy blade that has like the fastest hit priority and the most range in iframes and shit. It'd be something stupid. Hey, Beerus is finally here. Now I can give a shit. Now he's finally here. Now I can give a shit. Imagine making god key into shield. Into a shield like the true seek of the Naruto. Yeah, that would be fucking cool, man. That would be cool. Bendy come help me have gone. <laughs> This has been the realest dream to exist, LOL. What happened to Bendy Kamehameha? The amount of what ifs that surrounds Dragon Ball Super is sad. Yeah, God Key is so trash that you only get free skills when you knock Super Saiyan Blue in Kakarot. Exactly! God Key is so boring, you get free skills when you knock Super Saiyan Blue. And what? One? Or one or two when you when you knock Super Saiyan God, you good. No, it was just one. It was Limit Breaker Kamehameha, right? Um Was it Limit Breaker? No, God Kamehameha. You got God Kamehameha and Vegeta's moved to Dragon Ball Super Broly. You get God Key is so underutilized that when they put it in a video game, ah, oh, we're adding Super Saiyan Blue Goku to the universe, to Dragon Ball Z Universe 1. Oh shit, what's his unique move? Shock God Flash, which is a counter, and Burst Kamehameha, which is just two Kamehamehas. Okay, okay. Oh, we're adding Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Vegeta to Dragon Ball Z Universe as DLC. Yo, what's his move gonna be? He has a move where he teleports up to you and punches you. And it has a 90% chance of missing because people have brains and will just move out of the way. And he has a counter that's still bad, even in Xenoverse 2. So I'm not even going to talk about it. Bro, oh, come on, please. Come, come. Why is it so bad? Why is it so ass? That pink hair girl that fought Roshi could have made a weapon of her key. I actually don't know which one you're talking about. I'm really sorry. Which pink hair girl? She. Hey, Nose Knowledge has become a sponsor. Thanks so much for. Oh no, he's been a sponsor. This is his sixth month now. 
Hey, thank you so much, fella. God key knuckle dusters? That would actually be cool. I would like that. Maybe like a for a random fucking moment, right? Maybe because I'm not saying God Key should just be exclusive to gods. I gave it to hit. I used God Key as an ex as an excuse for why hit can stop time. So maybe some characters have their way of getting God Key, right? Maybe gods imbue some artifacts with their energy, and some niggas just find it like years later, and that's how some people get God Key. Maybe some people just pull the genetic lottery and are born of God Key. Maybe some others have their own way of stealing God Key from like the universe or surrounding gods or anything, right? Maybe some people actually, you know, people are just fucking scared of all the gods of destruction and shit and Supreme Kai's. I feel like that's slightly dumb. So I feel like some of them should have worshippers, right? Let's say Beerus and fucking Whis and take Goku and Vegeta to like a planet, right? And some of the people there, they go there and the people start surrounding them and they're like, Beerus, Sama. You know, like how in Asura's wrath, right? They start surrounding him and they start praying to him and preaching and begging and they're all praying and Goku's like oh wow Beerus seems like people over here really like you and Beerus could just say well I'm a god so it makes sense that people really like me but in in, in, in like in advance like maybe we still tell them oh people just really like uh, Beerus because one he'll destroy them if they don't like him and two he's just radiating fresh god key off of him now it's not enough to make someone strong enough to beat Goku or have Super Saiyan gods. But it might be enough to change someone's life. Maybe the God Key might be enough for them to conjure up some, some fucking money in front of them, right? So everyone just fucking follows the wake of gods because they always leave behind like a residue, like an Asura's Wrath. They just have infinite energy. They could do anything. And being in their in their presence could even benefit you because they just leave energy behind. Bro, if there was like cults, and like worshippers and all these weird niggas collecting god key. That would have been like nice. So that way Goku and Beerus can have actual, no, Goku and Vegeta can have actual enemies to fight. Not just, here's Moro, a guy who was in prison for god knows how many years. And we're only just now introducing him because we got bored. It could have just been some cult who's been collecting god key. And they're only showing up now because they have the amount that's appropriate to make a change. God key one for all. <laughs> god key one for all, yeah. God key one for all. You just keep chancering it. Oh my god. God key knuckle dust is a grin why Vegeta's punches through her kai. Thank you. Thank you. God key knuckle dusters, boxing gloves, maybe lacing his fist in God key so the Hakai passes through it. Who knows, man? Emmanuel Reed donates a five dollars super chat. So someone literally dropped all these gods just for them to tell us that everyone but Beerus is irrelevant. <laughs> exactly, bro. Exactly. All of them were irrelevant except Beerus. In Dragon Ball Fusions, God Key makes Spirit Bomb absolutely massive. Swag. I appreciate it. Imagine Goku and Vegeta using God Key to transform into massive dragons. I think that would actually be kind of cool. Like, the way Goku and Beerus, like, used it to, like, have dragons, like, fucking manifest and, like, clash into each other. That would have been, like, cool. That would have been fucking awesome. It would have been like, oh, yeah, not only are you scared of gods because they're strong, but even if someone has a little bit of God Key, they could just create a dragon out of their hand to just massacre you and your people. What are you going to do about that? It's so light work. No risk of the planet being destroyed whatsoever because, oh, I'm getting careless and I'm throwing a big key blast. Like, regular key could just be, like, for the shit. Ah, uh, just, it's just big energy blast. All I could do is create big energy and power up and some basic shields and shit. God's key could be, like, the crazy shit. That would have been, like, nice to see. Dragon Fist explodes. Uh, actually, yeah, they'd have to retcon Dragon Fist into a God Key move. I mean, the Wrath of Dragons movie isn't canon anyways. But yeah, why haven't they reintroduced Dragon Fist yet? Bro, Dragon Fist as a God Key move would have been so fucking nice. Could you imagine that? God, that would have been so cool. You could say Dragon Fist is God Key. Also, a skill Goku made up. Yeah, I, I, I'm headcanon. If Goku ever uses Dragon Fist in his God forms, I'm just going to headcanon it as, as his God Key manipulation. In Buddha Free, Goku can absorb his spirit bomb to do a massive... Oh, yeah, shit, he could. I remember that, yeah. If he's uh, in Super Saiyan or higher, I believe. I don't think it happened when he was in Kaioken. If he's in Super Saiyan or higher and he does spirit bomb, it gets absorbed into him and he does Dragon Fist instead. That, that, I, li I like that. That was cool. Back when Dragon Fist was Dragon Fire, yeah. Please give God Key to humans. Yeah, that's the thing, too. If you, if you made God Key more universal, people like Krillin and shit could uh, use it and be useful in, like... All these arcs. Because when you introduce a character like Roshi and Tien and Krillin and it's all in power, it's like, what? How is that character realistically not just blown off the stage from some random fucking nigga charging up? Right? Not even Jiren, right? Let's do someone else like Ribrian. Ribrian was super strong, right? Ribrian charges up, Krillin just gets knocked to stage and loses. Any anything can happen. This bro goes into speed mode, runs past you, and the fucking turbulence of him running past you just fucking yeets your ass off the stage. Because of the amount of knockback from his wind. Bro, it's right there. 
It's right there. It's right there. And it just didn't. Dragon Fist is the best finishing move ever made. Why did Super nerf Tien and his... I don't... They just, they just fucking hate Tien. Uh, Plague of Grabs already made a video about Tien hate. So, funny enough, they do get blasted from someone charging up or something. I think that does happen sometimes, yeah. And the one technique Goku didn't copy. <laughs> yeah, the one technique Goku didn't want to copy. Um, hey, Steve, what do you feel about Gogeta vs. Broly? I wish, it was, I wish it was a little more equal. Um... I would. I, I wish it was. I wish DBS Broly was a bit more of a threat when he became legendary. Because Gogeta felt like he was killing Broly out of a lack of options, rather than oh shit, he could kill me, so I have to kill him. Like Broly was calmed down at the end of it. Vegeta, Gogeta could have just went Kame, and Broly's eyes are already back. He's getting up. He's backing away. And Gogeta's like, "Ah, are you all right? Are you good? You look normal again. You, you all right? You good?" And Broly, like, powers down naturally because he's already scared. So he's fucking scared out of his mind. And Gogeta's like, oh, nice. Cool, so we're done here. So he just went for the kill against the guy who we saw was cowering away from him. Or just do a bluff. Just when he says, just do a bluff, Kamehameha. <laughs> fucking Vine TikTok boom sound effect. Yeah. Actually, if he did a bluff, Kamehameha, that would have been fucking fire. Oh, my God. That would have been so funny. That would have actually been funny as fuck. But, yeah, I wish it was slightly more equal. I mean, Gogeta's the kind of character where he's... Gogeta, Gogeta almost does shit that would be cool with God Key. Like when he traps Broly. He traps Broly in some energy that he can that he can see four sets off whenever he wants to. Literally, right? He punch Like when he was punching Broly, he was adding like plasma grenades to him or some shit. And then the last kick he did put him in like a shock trap. And then he just set off all that C4. He set off all those plasma grenades in one go. That was cool. That was like unique. I liked that. That was nice. Never again will we see anything that cool. Um, yeah, but I would have liked if God Key was just like super cool. And it like did unique shit with it. But it made people like Krillin really strong too. Could you imagine a God Destructor disc? Bro. That'd be nice. Actually, I think you would just die in one hit all the time. Um, but it would still be cool. <laughs> you would die if you, got, if you got hit by it once. But uh, I don't know. God Key Solar Flare. Oh, yes, yes, yes. God key solar flare. So instead of solar flare just being like solar flare, or oh, what the fuck? Did, what's the Japanese translation for it? Tienzan, Kienzan, Kienzan. Or, no, Kienzan's destructive disc. Then Kiko, who is that one? I don't remember what the Japanese uh, solar flare was, right? Taioken. Oh, it's Taioken. Okay. So Quinn jumps up in the air. Taioken solar flare. Everyone's like, ah, shit, ah, solar flare. Okay, it's done. Whatever. And God key enhanced solar flare, right? Maybe, maybe like Goku. Shares his fucking god key of the team beforehand or some shit before the tournament starts and they they all practice their own unique moves and Krillin's like So Goku, I think I got something and Goku's like, oh shit. All right, Krillin. Let's see it Let's see it and Krillin's like, nah, I should probably save it for the tournament I don't know. I don't want to waste the energy you've given me I think I'm starting to make this my own and he uses the solar flare, right? It can either be solar flare times 100 or when he uses the solar flare It's done. He just leaves and there's still a ball of bullshit right there and it's still blinding you. It's like a passive ability. It sits there and it's like, you can't, you can't see. Now the move's disadvantage would be that his own team can barely see as well. But it gives Krillin a chance to shine while no one knows what the fuck is going on. Krillin can dominate that field while no one knows what's going on. Because that's just a giant sun in the air. Imagine if the sun was right in front of you, bro. <laughs> that's literally what it would be. And it, maybe Krillin can only keep up for like 20 seconds or like a minute or something, right? Because it would be too overpowered if it was infinite. That would have been so cool. Give everyone some cool god moves, man. Give them that shit. I would have really liked that. What about a god special beam cannon? Where Piccolo shoots the special beam cannon. You dodge it and you're like, ah, you missed. And then he just goes, starts controlling it. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> starts controlling it, sending it back and shit. Bro, what if you made a net of special beam cannons with god key? Actually, I think that would be way too overpowered. That'd be, that, never mind, that'd be too broken. I'd change my mind on that. That's way too OP. Um... But they could, always, they could always come up with something creative. God will thank fit. Uh, the Yamcha's not in it. Get fucked. Um, <laughs> Brits just staring at the sun for a minute blinds you. But well, I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball characters can handle that shit. They look, uh, they look pretty... Uh, I mean, they're kind of already blind. They don't really notice a lot of shit. God's Tri-Beam. Yeah, God's Tri-Beam would fuck so hard. Oh my God. God's Tri-Beam would... God's Tri-Beam could probably beat Piccolo. Uh, not Piccolo. Could probably beat Jiren. God hells on grenade. Yeah, God hells on to be good. Chat to God suicide bomb. Oh my god. That's a thing from the multiverse. Actually, a special beam cage. Oh shit. 
Is that the one good idea multiverse has, or is it like poorly implemented? I need to check it some other time. Uh, Colossal. Oh, Colossal saying donate two dollars. Said God's Tribeam. Yeah, God's Tribeam is so fucking. God, bro. God's Tribeam, right? See, and he jumps up in the air. I don't know. Maybe he's fighting. Uh, let's think of a fucking character that's like a threat. Or some shit on his home. Give, give Tien a moment shine against Jiren, right? Just one. Just one. He doesn't even have to do good. Just give him one. He jumps up in the air. He does his tri-beam, right? He gets in the stance. And then another Tien shows up from the side. Another one shows up from the side. And their hands all overlap to create the biggest fucking triangle ever. And he just screams fucking God's tri-beam. And it's just this giant blue fucking square that just goes down. And even Jiren is like trying to stand up in its pressure. It's like a huge gravity well, right? It just holds him in place. And Jiren's like, yo, um, I wasn't expecting it to be that hot. And he, at the last second, he like frees himself, gets up, punches Tien out of the way. Even if Tien wastes his energy and didn't achieve anything, you'd go, well, if that wasn't Jiren, he would have just killed anyone else. Give him that, give, give your characters, even if your characters don't do a lot, right? Give them credit. A lot of better mangas do that, like fucking Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man. Even if their characters aren't the fucking god tiers of the universe, give them credit where to do, even if they don't kill anyone or make a major impact. It'd be like, well, if they used that on someone else, that would have been pretty good. You know what I mean? But like, no, but like, Dragon Ball's just like, oh, yeah, we just want everyone to suck. It's just Goku and Vegeta. Like, no, that would be so ass, man. Dom's god, I got family. <laughs> god key hell's flash. Ak uh, Akira hatred... Towards the region is nothing compared to Japan's hatred towards the end. Yeah, I think so. Rambo God Key Minigun. <laughs> you make a minigun out of God Key and just go fucking TF2 heavy with it. Yeah, at least give him a cool moment. At least at least let the audience go. He was able to hold down Jiren. So you would have probably one shot any other character if he did that. At least make us go. It may have took all of his energy, but at least he did that to Jiren. That would have been cool. We would have liked that, man. That would have been nice. God Key Super Electric Strike. God key super electric strike. I don't. I don't know if I should. If I would let the androids have God key because they're like kind of robots and shit. They have infinite energy already. Um. But I feel like I feel like they could still be a, a way to manage that. Yeah, they. I think there would be a way to manage that, right? Uh, has cost us Christ some more. Yeah, the fucking mini gun. Yeah, I would. I would like something like that. Um, like maybe seventeen is doing the fucking pose for super electric strike, and Goku does it fucking with him, and all Goku does is add his key. To the super electric track, like 17 finishes the motion. That I didn't mean to dab. But Goku just like does the motion as well and just adds his key across the whole of it. Like he's like applying his key to it. And it just like sweeps through the fucking area. That'd be nice, man. God key kaiju battles. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that would actually be cool. That'd be a nice way to bring Great Ape back, actually. What the fuck? That would be a cool way to bring Great Ape back. Vegeta uses his god key to make like a giant construct of his great ape form or some shit. That Nah, just throw, throw, throw all these ideas in a bin. You guys need to stop getting creative. Go home. Stop, you, I mean, you are home, but stop getting creative, right? Either way, guys, I think I've been streaming long enough. It's been 2 hours, 30 minutes. And as much as I love this conversation, we're going to have to continue this another time. Maybe I'll make a video on this because this is super intense. I know no one donated $500 for this, but this is still a super good idea. And we just ended up talking about it for the whole stream. So, God Key. If it was more like a unique ability and manipulation and shit like that, I feel like that would have been cool. You could still balance out by by giving it to multiple characters across the series. Maybe Jiren has maybe Jiren's excuse for being so fucking overpowered is that one of his parents is a deity, so he's a god-born person. He's like Godkin, you know what I mean? He's some random alien, but one half of him is Godkin. So that's why Jiren could be so fucking OP and have all these like random fucking bullshit abilities. There you go. I, I just I just made Jiren a better character. Fuck you. I just made Jiren a better character in like ten seconds. So um, yeah. I think that's a, a good way to end uh, the stream. And I... Uh, and I'll, I'll make a video on this another time. Yeah, Jiren in camp half-blood. God Marvel, but God Key Super Mario Bros. Z. Mario. <laughs> All these God Key techniques just dropped the Shin Kanji in the anti-battle bomb. Bro, if they just made Goku and Vegeta's batteries for, <laughs> for everyone for God Key, yeah. Oh my god. All right. But yeah, I love you all. Hope you enjoyed. Um, this was a really fun stream. This was really cool. I love you all. Take care, and I will see you guys all next time. Make Jiren's backstory that his dad went to go get milk. Wow. 
Um, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Please make sure to leave a like. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the second channel. Link is at the top. If you guys want to re... If you guys want to remember anything that we talked about here, maybe you want to use these ideas for your uh, OCs or some shit, and you need to, like, fresh up or some shit, or you just want to recommend God key ideas to your friends, you can link from the second channel where that video will be. So please do that, guys. Again, I do love you all. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you guys all in the next stream. Again, thank you all for the amazing support, especially your Mega Daddy. All of you guys are just fucking insane in the membrane. Love you all. I, I'm going on for too long, right? I love you. Take care and peace. I will say this though. Uh, Dashing Dejun said God Key Monaka. And I think the idea of Monaka having God Key, but he only uses it to create like a mop to clean stuff would be really funny. And that's why Goku thinks Monaka's hot shit, just because he has God Key. All right. That's all. Love you all. Peace.